Hello, everybody, and welcome to Football Sunday. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You know I have to represent. Hey, Bob. <laughs> you know I have to represent. So, hey, everybody, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays, and today we are getting into 11, um, which is a wonderful, wonderful design, but this is uh, wonderful uh, football, or uh, in the U.S., soccer. <laughs> And so we're going to be getting into uh, playing through the game Eleven, which is a, a football manager board, a football manager made into a board game. Uh, hey Bob, hey Steph, what's going on? So um, we're going to have a good time. We're going to play some ball, and you'll see how this shakes out. I did play through this um, about twice. I played through not the specific scenario. I haven't done the scenario yet. I just did a blind play. The rules themselves um, need a little bit of love. Need a little bit of love, but. That doesn't stop it from being interesting. Now, there's going to be two... There is no gray area with this game. It's either you're going to like it or you're not. There is no gray area of saying, oh, it's going to be okay or it might be all right or just give me some time. It's either you're going to like it or you're not going to like it. Um, for one, I think it's interesting. It's a worker placement game, basically, for you to uh, kind of understand how this goes. And uh, there is a, there is dice in it, but just it, it really it, it throws the wild card in everything and all your plans of what's of what's going on. But it is a euro, so there's a lot. It's worker placement heavy, and because it's a euro, there's a lot of rinse and repeat sets on it. So I think a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people are either really gonna love it, like they're gonna play it and they're gonna say, okay, this is fun, it'll stay in my collection, or they're immediately gonna say, ugh, this is repetitive. It's fiddly, blah, 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 I don't like it. Um, for me, I'm in between, actually. Uh, but you'll see why, and I'll talk about my reasons why for that after we play. But before we dive into that, I want to say thank you to my Patreons, my YouTube subscribers, and if you're neither, just coming uh, just coming to hang out. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> just coming to hang out, welcome as well. Um, so thank you so much. You all, There's always room at the table, y'all know that. Um, I'm looking forward to anyone who's played this game, if I play something incorrect. Let me know, and I will, uh, I, you know, so we can play this properly um, for anyone who does go through. I know Slicker Drips uh, did a playthrough of it. I thought he had done something incorrect, but he actually got it right. He, he, uh, he and I messaged, so um, it should be good to go. All right, information, and then uh, let's get to the pitch. So, uh, <laughs> 11... It delivered, it says 2022, but in the U.S. it delivered this year. Uh, been sacked three times already. <laughs> you got fired three times. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it delivered in the U.S. this year, but I believe last year it delivered it. Uh, anyone who went to Essen could have picked up their copy. Um, so 7.5 on Board Game Geek. Like I said, there is there's not a lot of, like, there's 512 people who rated this game, but yet there's 161 comments. Eh. Um, I think give this game a year so people can try it out. Um, there's a lot of expansions that came with this game um, from the Game Found um, campaign. I don't want to say Game Found Kickstarter because that's kind of like a contradiction in terms. But I'll be playing with just the base game today. So you can check it out, see if you just want to get the base game, okay? Um, and then we'll talk about the other expansions that come with it after we play through the base game. Like I said, there's a lot of repetition on this, but it's a Euro, and that, that's just typical for me, is where, okay, you've gone through a segment, you're going to go through that segment on the next round, and that segment in the next round. But it doesn't bother me. Um, one to four players, this game, for me, I think, and I agree with, uh, with the community on this one, just say crowdfunding. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll just say crowdfunding. So um, the community says best played solo. I agree with them, uh, only because this game is it, it's it's not a co-op game. It is basically group solitaire. You will be doing everything by yourself, but in a group. So it's one to four player, but everybody's playing their own game. Um, you can go head to head. However, that doesn't it, it's it's not really going to lend itself to a lot, and somebody could easily get crushed. But this game is a solo game. It really is. And um, if you play two-player, it'll be two-player playing solitaire. Uh, 60 to 120 minutes. Age 14 plus. Community says 10 plus. I agree. It's not complex. 
except for the rule book makes things, and I'll talk about that because the rule book made me angry. I even wrote on their site, like, this makes no sense. Uh, weight's about a 3.24 out of 5 because there's a lot of things to keep track of, but once you get into the swing of things, it's not too bad. Um, Thomas Jansen did the design. Thomas, there's a good, this is a really good design here. A little bit of tweaks would make it, would really bring it out, but I, like I said, I think I'm part of the road. <laughs> Can't be angry. Hey, Yogi, what's going on? Yeah, there's uh, there's just something about rule books that I need people to kind of think about. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, Adam, what's going on? What's going on? So, um, a wonderful group of artists, and this has been pu this is published by Portal Games. So, uh, you've seen them do a lot of other um, a lot of other titles out there. Okay, you're gonna see a tiny presence on the table, but it's gonna get bigger as I build out the game and teach you how to play it. All right, so let's get down to the table. Okay, like I said, tiny presence. I put the board here because when I zoom, this is the area that we want you to be really paying attention to because on the pitch is where the game happens, right? All right, so um, let's go ahead and do our setup. The first thing we want to talk about is what scenario we're building. Well, we're building, we're running through surviving the third division scenario, right? Yeah, it looks nice, and it is simple. That's the thing, Yogi. It is simple, but it's not going to be for everybody. I, and that, I want to be very clear on that, is that once I play through this, it's either you're going to say, I, I like it, or nah, that's not for me. You won't have an in-between. All right, so we're playing through scenario one, which is surviving the third division. The newbie football club was recently promoted to the professional football league for the first time in its history, and the people of small town of newbie are over the moon. Now, a few months later, nobody believes these newcomers will survive the third division for even one season. But the club knows that avoiding relegation is in important to their survival, so they hired me. Note, this scenario can only be played in the third division. So we're going to be playing third division, and uh, the newbie FC, or newbie football club, will go through it. Now, a lot of Americans are going to ask themselves, what the hell is relegation? Let me go to Google, or I don't want to go to Google because that sounds like work. Relegation is basically when your team sucks so bad in your division that they drop you out of the division <laughs> to a lower division. That is what relegation is. So if you are not doing so well or at the bottom of your team, you get, rele you get relegated and you get moved to a lower division while someone who's doing well in a lower division takes your spot. All right, um, season goals. So my goal for this season is the board expects you not to be relegated or you will be fired. Uh, the board highly appreciates it if you manage to. I need to train three youngsters. Thank you, KJ. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> no problem. Uh, the board expects you not to be relegated, so you will be fired. The board highly appreciates it if you manage to. Train three youngsters. We'll get four victory points. And build up your staff. Have staff cards for at least four different sets. Um, and we'll talk about the sets, which gives us four victory points. So that's just kind of like a victory points bonus um, for towards our goal. But not we just need to not get relegated. All right, so <laughs> setup changes. So set up the game as usual, apply the following effects. So we're going to take out, and we'll talk about what when we do this when we do. Uh, the threat of relegation keeps it a healthy competition. I agree. It needs to be in, in U.S. football, too. So uh, set up the game as usual, apply the following changes. Take out all player cards with strength higher than one on the on their untrained side and return them to the box. Shuffle the rest to create the player deck, which we'll talk about. Prepare the youngster deck and transfer areas possible as usual, and then begin the game with only one random veteran card. So our special rules for this. Uh, reputational problems. You can only uh, hire regular players with the strength of one and youngsters. Discard cards allowing you to hire veterans when they enter the transfer area. Replace them with the next card from the top of the corresponding deck. And captain of the of the sinking ship. <laughs> I need to relegate somebody. I love it. I love it. Captain of the sinking ship. At the end of the season, if you're at the bottom of the league table or, or second to last, you're relegated. So that means uh, in our division, we can only, we have to be above, we have to be like third from last worst case scenario. Uh, scenario result. When your team is relegated, you lose the game. Otherwise, congratulations, you win the scenario. So this is the scenario setup. All right, so let's talk about how this works. So in a season uh, of 11, um, you will be playing six games. 
three of them will be Division Three, and three of them will be a harder Division Three, a little bit into Division Two. <laughs> what are we calling our sinking ship? Well, <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> so um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go all the way across and explain everything in that way. So first, we're gonna build out our season. So our season, we take the Division Three cards. And you'll know that they're Division 3 cards because right here at the bottom says Division 3. We'll talk about how these cards work when, when it's match day. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up. And you're just going to draw three cards from here. One, two, and then we shuffle, shuffle up. Three. Yeah, I want a different team. Three. All right, this goes back to the box, and then you shuffle here, and then you draw three from from the um from the harder. It's like cl you're closer to division two, type of thing. So one, two, three, and then all you do is take these and put the put the other ones on the bottom and put them right there. Ta-da! Look at that. Your division set up. This is the scoreboard for the division. So this basically says, these are the teams in our division, right? Now, if you notice, this is me, because it looks like, it looks like the kanji. It looks like the kanji symbol, and it's even on the stadium, too. But it looks like the kanji symbol. So, um, but this, these are the teams in our division that we have to fight against, right? So you take all of these little tokens and go on the division scoreboard and put them on zero. So everybody's starting at the same. Okay? Cool. We'll come over here to this board. This is our stadium board. We can upgrade our stadium board by doing a bunch of different things. For instance, we can get ad boards that put on. Right now we can only have two. But we can get ad boards put on here to where it's generating revenue or some type of benefit to us. We have stands that we can have fans in that at the end of a game that generates a little bit of money. We can build offices um, based on cost to get victory points going up. And then, I don't know if you could see, but there's like little divots in here, because this is a dual layer board. You can actually upgrade the stadium to um, determine kind of how that's gonna play out. The team results rolls at the end of a match day, be sorted. I was sad and made my own round robin table for each week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, it does need to get sorted out. So we can upgrade one, two, three, four, our stadium. Each upgrade costs three, um, Three pounds. <laughs> it costs three three money for us to do that, um, to be able to 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 generate to be able to do an upgrade. But there's stands that we could put in the fan. We could put uh, fans in the stands, and we can upgrade the stands to get more fans, which means we'll get more money after a match. Um, any there are three types of ads that that basically you set up. There are like instant ads, euro candy, euros. <laughs> no money. <laughs> so. <laughs> So um, there are three types that you get. There are, um, and, I'll, and I'll, they have proper names, but I'm going to call them what they are because they make more sense to me that way, is because they have instant um, ads, which basically says that you get an ad, you get the revenue from it. So it's like you, pull it, you play it during, you know, during the week, and then you get money and you discard the card. It's gone. You don't have to worry about it. There's an ad board where you can pay... Uh, where someone pays and they fall under your ad board. So you can only have um, a total, max total of three ad boards. However, you can pay to get this one unlocked. So uh, you can only have three ad boards. The instant ones you could have unlimited. And that, and we'll talk, I'll dive way more into this when we start showing you the ads, okay? And then there is the sponsor. So there's you can only have one sponsor. So you can have... <laughs> okay, I'm to relegate tees. So you can have um, basically at the start of the game, you can have you, you can get two ads ad boards, or you could get unlimited amount of instant ones, or you can get a sponsor, which is what the which is what you see on on the player shirts, and you can only have one of those. Um, when you see the the build out of the sponsors, it'll make sense. Then we've got. We've got the main board. This is where everything comes together. This is where the whole thing comes together. So 
this is the this is basically where the board makes decisions and your revenue gain and your resource gathering and all that stuff happens here. This is the pitch where the game happens. And this is the meat of the game. This is the thing people came to see how it's going to play out, whether you're going to win, lose, or draw. And we'll see how it goes. Hey, Steven, what's going on? So let's go ahead and set up this side. And this game runs through weeks. So Monday is board meeting. And then Tuesday to Thursday is actions that you can take. And then, uh, then the next is Friday is match day. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these cards. You're going to give them a shuffle. And in solo, I'm going to talk about the solo rule. Level of sponsorships or shout out from board things, shirt sponsor. Yeah, shout outs. Shout outs. That's what it's called. Shout outs, ad boards, and then shirt sponsors. So let's shuffle these up. And this is the board that we're doing. So we have a board, uh, a, a board that we have to select. In solo game, what we're going to do is we're going to draw four cards and basically select one. Right, so in, in solo mode, usually what you do is you draw four and pass it around the table. And whoever the players don't pick, you do. But for me, we'll draw four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to select one from these four. So we've got Ricardo Alvarez. So basically, if he comes in, he's going to generate. And this is another thing that drives me nuts. But we'll talk about it. But he'll generate one strength, uh, one strength resource, not production. The next is Carl Wood, who will also generate one resource, but they also have actions as well, and I'll talk about who I select. I'm looking for somebody in particular. <laughs> we're, we're looking at Anna, um, Anna Kaminska, who will generate, um, I forgot what this one's called. I'll have to look it up. Ah, there you are, Courtney Harper. So gain two corresponding resource markers, which makes me happy. So we're going to choose her. And let's talk about why. I need to get the names proper or else, or else Bob's going to kill me. So let me get the names proper of the production sets. Do, 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 do. This rule book is a travesty of justice, I'll tell you that much. Uh, here it is. So the production names are called... Yeah, I'm getting Courtney. <laughs> I'm thinking, I can only pick one from there, so I'm getting Courtney for sure. Um, let's see. Okay, Operation. That's what it's called. So, this is Fitness, Operation, Fan Base, and Cash. Not Euro, Bob, Cash. So, it determines what we're going to do. So, uh, Operation lets us take extra actions, but we're going to go with Courtney. And Courtney, right here, is going to be one of our directors. I will explain what this means in a second. So it said, we mustn't hurry. It's better to, uh, to calm down and talk about our problems. So we can either gain um, one fitness resource, one fan resource, or one production resource. Her bonus when we get her immediately kicks, and it says, gain two corresponding resource markers, which is fantastic. So she will be part of our board. The rest is, are discarded. The rest of the four are discarded. <laughs> I want to accept my NFTs. Then we're going to draw three cards. One, two, three. And we're going to select one from these. I'm looking for somebody else, too. Where is she? So we have uh, Selim Goba. <laughs> Um, which will give us a production resource. We have uh, Mia Walker, which will give us a fan resource and another production uh, for uh, a, a door. So when the red option is chosen, gain a production build. At the end of the game, gain two production for each stat. At, no. At the end of the week, you may keep up to three. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with Mia on this one. She will join. Then you discard those, and then you shuffle one more time and draw two cards. Fedora is one extra action per day? Oh, because of the plus one. Because of the plus one. Um, but that's only if the red gets selected on a roll. And that all depends. This is a really dependent one, Bob. That's a really big dependent one. 
<laughs> uh, so that's a really, really dependent one. So we're gonna do two. Come on, where is she? The character that gives me an extra player. So there's Jeremy uh, Levins and Frank Vistler. These are our last two. Oh, hey, Adam. I'm buying an ad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, so Frank Visser and Jeremy. Why, why is this in all uppercase and this one not? Why is that? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Anyway, I could get mad about it. Um, so I'm going to get this one. Discard all staff cards from the transfer area. Draw five new cards and hire any of them for the normal cost. Ooh. When you must lose a stat level, you may lose two corresponding resource markers instead. I think I'm going to get Frank. So this is our board. The rest of the cards. Or I was looking for... Uh, I was looking for her, Veronica. Dang it. <laughs> she did not pop up. Jeremy thinks very highly of himself. So when we get them, we then get the resources that are on them. So basically, we all start off with the resource markers here at the two. So cash, fan base, um, operations, and fitness. So since I'm keeping track of these because I hate the tokens, I don't know why dice can't work. So I'm using dice as our, um, so there. this is our production, and these are our resources so I'm saying that I have that we are I'm tracking them with this. So this is saying these are resources. What drives me absolutely insane is that the symbols for production and resources just have different like just the symbols themselves are different colors. For example, I'm gonna hold this stupid book up because it pisses me off. First complaint about the rule book. I have a very major complaint about the rule book, but this is my first complaint about it. Is I think they could have done this a little bit differently. Um, the effects applied after drafting and revealing director. Yep. So let me see if I can find it. The resource board. I'll show you the first thing that kind of ticks me off. Um, here. Perfect. Perfect example. Perfect example. See this crap here? I want you to look at this. Look at this. This is the ad board stuff. So this right here is resource. This is production. Why are they so similar? Why are they so similar? Why? They could be just a little bit. They, they, just, uh, anyway, for a while I, had, like, I read through this rule book a, a bunch of times. And when I read this, I was like, they could have done this differently. But this is going to be confusing to people. But anyway. This means resource when it's in white, and when it's on, and when it's in black, it, or when it's when it's surrounded by a white border, it's a resource, and when it's surrounded by yellow and in black, it is a production. So what, that's how you tell those symbols apart. I was not a fan of that, but anyway, we start with two. Now, because of this, um, we're gonna get one more resource of three for that one instant. We're gonna get one fitness for that one. I'm uh, sorry, fan base, not fitness. And this one, we get to select the, whether we want a strength, a fit, a. Um, I think I might go for. I'm gonna go for uh, operations on this one, taking this to four. That'll give me two actions. That'll give me two actions. And it wasn't simple for me. It, I, I just, uh, like I said, my, uh, my brain doesn't work that way for some reason, so I struggled with it a little bit. Um, she gets a bonus. You gain two, cor two corresponding resource markers. So um, that means we get gain two corresponding resource markers, which is this production stuff. Um, and I did choose that one, so I'm going to boost this up to six. So there you go. There's my week. I got a time. Um, she ha so that's her bonus that you get. Her feature, at the end of the week, you may keep up to three, um, three of the uh, fan. Basically, at the end of the week, you drop back down to two, or, or you drop back down to your level. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know. Um, but he has an action that says, uh, discard all staff cards from the transfer area, uh, draw five new, and hire any of them for a normal cost. 
So that's pretty interesting because we start off with this trainer. This is our starting trainer. Ah, uh, are they? I don't know if they're production, dude. See, this is where I get confused by the symbols where people are like, oh, that's easy peasy. It's like, is it? Here, I'm going through the book right now. Let's, let's go through the book together. This is where it is confusing because it means two different things than if it's saying that is production. Because there's cards that look that have the production upgrade symbol. So number four on player board, club board, it says number four, change in stat levels. The effects applied after drafting and revealing director cards. They are enclosed in a circle. Then why are they not dark? Whatever. Okay. Sure. Sure. And sure. Why the heck not? We'll put this down to two. Two and two. It's cool. It's cool. So this is production, boom, production. Uh, then this is fan, and that's it. And then her bonus, you gain two corresponding uh, resource marker. They could have done something different. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so the resource is the actual thing. I'm just reading this right because I got called a doofus and I don't like that. So let's see. There we go. So her bonus gained two corresponding resource markers. So those are the resources. So production goes up by one. Production goes up by one. Production goes up by one. Which will give me two actions anyway a week. Uh, we are good. We are good. Okay. All right, so. Let's talk about our first trainer. So, Lindsay Gross. It's either that, male or female. There's even Mark Spider uh, Spiderson. Uh, then there is uh, Lindsay Gross. So this is our first trainer. She, we get her automatically. Um, so she costs one, one fitness resource to use her action. And it says to uh, train one of your players, and then you may place uh, one of these symbols or one of the injured symbols on their player card. And this is kind of like a fitness fire up. But they're going to get hurt, basically, for doing it. So they'll get strong, but they'll also get a little bit, a little bit hurt. So she is your staff. All right, um, we place our player board, put this on Monday because we're not ready to, to calculate our production yet. So we place our player board on here. The score is zero, zero. <laughs> yeah, let's have a lady. So, the, so we set the scoreboards to zero. You put, our, you put your symbol here and we'll talk about this when we get into this side. Now let's switch over to this side. This is where, this is the market or they call it the transfer area, right? So this is the transfer area where we're going to build out. First, we're going to get a pro. And it said that um, set up the game as usual. Take out all players with strength one. That's over here, which I already have done. Uh, but we still get a veteran. So you're going to shuffle this up. And you're going to draw a veteran. So we still get a washed up has-been. Begin the game with only one veteran card. One random veteran card. So you don't get to choose. So shuffle it up. And we're going to draw you. Oh, is that a goalie? I got a goalie. Sweet. I've never had a goalie. Anyway. <laughs> so this is our veteran. Okay. 
All right, so it's Fisher, perfect catcher. After the match, uh, roll a die, and on a four to six, flip this card, so we'll see what happens after a match. He is a goalie. Basically, he's, he gets two symbols. What that means is that anything that is two or lower, he automatically blocks twice. And we'll talk about that when we get the match day, but just keep in mind, uh, keep in mind this, uh, that those two glove symbols. So we'll put him here. We also get a youngster. So we're going to shuffle these up, and we're going to get one youngster. So you get a goalie and a youngster. You do, youngsters are basically no names. They have no number, and they all have one strength, and they vary in where they start. So let's see what we're going to do. Shuffle these up. And we're going to draw one. Put the rest back. Switch these. You can see those a lot better because these these don't stack out. They're just you just draw from the top. This guy is a forward. He's a forward because he's up here, um, and he's just he's just a nobody, and he's an a, he's a, a striker. So he's not a defender. He's a striker. So he'll be in the forward position right here. Oh, that's how we started out. Now we build out the market. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for, we're going to get the staff cards, which is these, shuffle them up, and draw five. And staff are going to be people that you can hire. You can hire as much staff as you like. As long as you can pay them, you can hire them. So we'll give these a shuffle. So we'll draw one, two, three, four, five, and then we lay them out. So we've got uh, Jess, Jess Milton, who uh, costs two cash or euro, so we got that. We've got uh, Judy Lubeck, who is a fitness trainer, so Jess is an agent, Judy's a, a fitness trainer. Uh, Medea Hiroki, who basically, we will increase our production by one if you have another fitness trainer. I gain a strength, and as an action, I could gain two fitness on this card, which is pretty darn cool. We've also got Jin Lee, who's a doctor, so that gets to remove injuries from players. And then we've got Orlando uh, Kamara, who's a video analyst. And all these, all they do is they give you actions, um, just like she has, which is extra stuff that you could do during the week. So you can hire staff and their cost is at the top. So let me show you, for instance... She's probably a really good one to show. So let's take a look at her card. So it costs two, um, two euro to get her. She is a fitness trainer. Notice on here it says um, you can only put her in games for one plus. So if you see if you're playing solo, take out all cards that have two, that has two plus on it, and you can only use the one plus stuff, which is really going to limit your deck, but it is what it is. So um, her bonus. So when you acquire her, you increase your production by one. If you have another fitness trainer, gain, additionally, gain one, uh, one fitness resource. As an action, you could gain two fitness resources. So, but she is class fitness trainer. So that's how you break down those cards. Um, what you want to do is you want to take a look. He's a fitness trainer too. Let's go with an agent. So everyone kind of has a different ability, right? Um, so once again, one plus. Cost two euro to play. She is an agent type. Um, then it says action, sell any of your players, you may then spend one product, one, um, operation to gain one additional victory point. That's what that means. Right. So let's, so basically that's my market or what they call the transfer area. So remember, um, Frank has, says that I could discard all cards in the transfer area, draw five new, and then hire any of them for their normal cost. So as an action, basically, if I don't like any of them, I can ditch them all and, and pull it back. So th these are our corporate sponsors. Whoa. Oh, my God. See, this is what happens when I get clumsy. Uh, two, two, four. Two. And we haven't even done production yet.
the first week I've already kind of pre-done production, but uh, we'll see. Shuffle these up. Okay. We're going to draw five of those. What's funny is that, look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I saw this in there and I was like, that's cute. <laughs> that's really cute. So watch it played as a sponsor. All right, so we just draw five out of here. One, two, four. And five. The rest goes on top. There's even a dice tower one. Look at that. Maybe one day there'll be one for me. Okay, so let's talk about these cards. I'm just going to grab any one and show it to you. I'm going to fix it. Bobby's up. Jeez. I will fix it. Trust me, I'll fix it. So um, we've got these three types. So this is kind of an announcement set. So if we do this, we immediately get five, um, five resource, all right? Five resource. We just get that, we discard the card, no harm, no foul, we don't get any of these benefits, none of that stuff matters. The ad board, we will, you get to choose. So with the ad board, you get to choose. Either you will get three euro and one production, or you get to choose if you're gonna do discard up to three injuries from your player. So this, or this. And then if you choose to make them a sponsor, you get um, you get one euro, you get one production, and you get um, discard up to three. So how this breaks down is this announcement gives you this, you discard the card. This announcement goes on the ad board, you get these two or this, and if you make them a sponsor, you get all you get both of them. The bad part about the thing about this that you want to keep in mind when you're selecting these like I said before, is either you're going to have, remember, I can only have two on the ad board. They stay. They don't go away. Uh, I can pay for a third, but right now I can only have two. So once I have them, that's where they sit. I can only have one sponsor on my jersey, and that's it. Or I could just do this as an announcement and ditch it. All right, so keep that in mind when you're building that out. That you, that you can only choose one of these per these ones that are on. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's go back to start over since I knocked this thing over and let's shift some stuff. So first, fitness is supposed to go up to three instead of two because of the plus one there. Our fan production should be at three, not two because of that. Then uh, cash stays there. And then we get one for there, and then I chose one for there. So it's supposed to be a three, not two. You're, so it is not wrong. All right. Let's pull these off, because when you first start the game, you don't get, you haven't done any production. So let's move that off. All right. So, so far, our staff, we have, um, oh, you were looking at the dice. Yeah, the dice, I haven't even done production yet. So, so far on our staff, if you want to look, when we're starting off, and very important to look, my big old biscuit head in the way. Um, when you start off, I have one, two, three, and my first trainer, four. So we pull our staff at four. And the reason why this is important, <laughs> I'm trying to lean, is because at the end, we have to pay these fools. So we have four staff. The stadium starts at four automatically. And then so far, we've only got the youngster and the pro, so we've only got two players. This is important because we need to pay these people or else we start, we start struggling and suffering. All right, this die will we'll explain that later. Um, let's go on with, so these are, these are kind of no name, no name, well, these are name people who are just all right. And we're going to draw five of these and play these out. So one, two, three. Four, five. Remember, the rule said that you could only do whatever is there. The deck is super tiny, and you reshuffle it. So, eh. All right. So that's how they break down. Let's break down. These are just like the regular youngster cards that you've seen before, right here. So this one will cost one euro. He's a striker. He's a midfielder. 
and he only has one power, but he gains a bonus to give us um, two resource of, of fans if we buy them. So if we need that, that's there. Okay. So we've built all that out. We've built those. Let's get our objective. We'll shuffle these up. And then... Do, 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 do. Our objective, basically, for fall, we're doing the scenario, but I just grabbed an objective card so you could see them. So our objective, talent school. We aren't world class, you know. We need to sell now before uh, he goes before he goes for free. So our objective is to sell a trainer, sell a train for a fire striker, uh, or perfect. Instead, sell a train for uh, for fire youngster. Now let me explain what these symbols mean. I'm going to read this out so you can see exactly what that symbol means. I have a vet in the starting area? Where? You talking about this guy? Because it says I can only I begin the game with one ran, run random veteran in, the, in, our, in our start area. So I did that right. One, 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 one. They're all one cost. What did I miss? What are you saying? Because I don't think there is a vet player that starts with a one. Uh, take out all player cards with strength higher than one on their untrained side and return them to the box. Shuffle the rest to create the player deck. Prepare the youngster deck and transfer area as usual. Begin the game with one random veteran. Yeah, it's just a rando vet. I think it's just a rando vet. I don't think it's that. I, it, this, this needs to be culled to one. This area here, but not anything else. Uh, these markers are called strength tokens. So there is positive strength and negative strength tokens. I'm reading this through. Like I said, I've read this thing. I'm not a, I, I struggle with rule books and this one is not that great. So strength tokens build up your character um, for the match. It basically increases their number. Yep, it increases their number. So their strength one. <laughs> That's all right. It's all right, man. It's all right. So they're a strength one. So you see this this strength token that's on here for this guy. If I get a strength token added on to him, then he'll be a strength two and be able to block. Okay. So we've got all these set up. It's all good, man. If you think I'm playing something wrong, let's verify the rules together. You've already you know you've already caught me missing. Uh, like I, I missed two things. So the production one is good. Oh, it's, it's confusing to me, so I appreciate you helping out. So stand upgrades, these are the ones that we can get, and it's three, it's three uh, euro each to play them. <laughs> hey, Baron, what's going on? So um, we're going to deal with the board in a second, but first we come to what this is, and we're going to do production steps. So let's start with the, let's start with the phases of the game. The game is broken into basically weekly phases. Monday, the first thing you do is production. Well, I gain two cash for there. I gain three uh, fan base. I gain four production, and I gain two fitness. That's how much I have to spend this week, <laughs> this entire week. All right, so that's at the beginning of the week. Also at the beginning of the week, we have a board meeting. So this is the board meeting deck right here. So we're going to give these a shuffle, and we're going to draw from the board meeting and see what's going on. I want to make sure I'm doing setup right. So if y'all are seeing something weird, Bob, if you're seeing just don't call me a doofus again. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like that. But if, you, um, but if you see if you see me doing something, just point it out. Let me know. All right. <laughs> Steven. So Bob's played this game a few times, and he and I are both huge fans of um, 
he and I are both huge fans of of, uh, of football, so I know he wants me to play it right. Okay, board meeting. Board meeting. Rando card. Fight. <laughs> Our best defender got into a fight with an opposing player after the last game. Should we suspend him? So you see there's this yellow, blue, and red marker on here with the decision that's going to happen? Well, we look at this, and if you notice on these cards, there's a yellow, blue, and red location. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this die, and based on this die roll, we will it, the, the board will determine what they will do with our best defender. And they're idiots if they suspend him. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it a roll. We got a one. Of course we did. <laughs> of course we did. <laughs> no worries, Bob. I, I know you didn't mean it. It just, it, I, it just hit me a, a, a certain way. So I know you didn't mean it that way. All right, so um, basically we look up here for our die roll. We roll the one, so that is yellow. Roll the one so that's yellow, and we roll the one so that's yellow. So we're gonna do the yellow action that's on here. So one thing to keep in mind, uh, this is the thing of um, majority wins in the in the um, in the vote section. So basically, if this was a blue, this was a blue, and this was a red, the blues would win. Does that make sense? If uh, so, basically, majority always wins. But since this is a full standing, the board voted. Let's see what they said to do to this gentleman. It said, place two. <laughs> uh, all right, so place two, uh, two flag cards on any defender card. Uh, gain one, basically gain one uh, victory point. So, what those cards mean, like I said, there is no shortcut index to explain what all those cards mean. Another problem with the rule book that drives me crazy. But basically, those cards are called suspension tokens. Place two suspension tokens on our players. And I believe suspension tokens mean my players can't play for two games. Ah! Oh! <laughs> my defender. Someone, I finally got a defender in this game and I can't, and he's suspended. This sucks. Alright, so let's talk about, so, choose the player card you want to use for the match. Our defender's already in the Pistacos. <laughs> Your goalie's up for two games. I know! So, uh, we grab two. All right, I keep them in the punch board because I don't have them. So we grab two of these, and they go on my defender, which my defender is, my, my only defender is my goalie. And he's basically benched for two games. Fabulous. This is already going off swimmingly. Then this gets discarded, and that is Monday. That's Monday. That's it. Monday is that we do production, and we have a board meeting. <laughs> then we move to Tuesday. All right. So, in this game, from Tuesday to Thursday, all you have is, um, all you have is one action. Don't worry. Even with him suspended, I'm sure your defense will do better than the Vikings' defense. Oof. Oof, Baron. Oof. So, um, basically, Tuesday to Thursday, you get one action. However, however, you can spend production to do an action of one of uh, either a trainer or your, direct, or your board. So, it's not another action of, okay, I'll buy one and then I'll buy another. You can do one action of either. And I got the rules here to explain what, what actions you can do. I have to do a quick printout. You can, as, an, as one action that you have per day of the week, you can hire a youngster, you can sell a youngster, you can hire staff, you can contract a sponsor, you can build stadium infrastructure, or you can use card actions. And if you pay production to production, you can use a card action as well. So basically this round... I can, uh, I am not sure that your goalie is a defender. He has his own specific error in the pitch. See rules page. Oh my God, did I bypass that? Thank you, Bob. See rules page 22. During, uh, goalie, goalkeepers, during the match, goalkeepers block opponent. Yeah, blah, 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 I'll talk about all that. Your goalkeepers are presented by player cards, but they don't have corresponding jersey markers. 
Goalkeepers have a unique statistic, which is the block. Uh, can you buy a new defender? I may be able to, but I don't... But it says... Are, are they considered defenders? It makes sense that they would be. Uh, during the match, goalkeepers block opponent attacks um, that your players cannot defend. Your goalkeepers are represented by player cards, but they don't have corresponding jersey markers. Goalkeepers have a unique static symbol of an opponent, um, and I'll explain that when we play. See the area of the pitch on the... Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Here's what Bob's saying right here. This is, once again, this is where it's not defined. The rulebook is not good. So, basically, the zone. there are three zones, right? There's the forward, the midfield, and the defender zone. Now, here is where it gets into this weird area of needing explanation. The goal is in the defender zone, but it doesn't cover the entire defender zone. So what Bob's saying is, he's saying that you can, that because, it's, because it doesn't cover the entire defender zone, the goalie is not really a defender. Instead, he's just a goalie status. This is an interesting one because that is not really outlined. Once again, this is one of these things that drives me nuts about this rule book. The major thing that irritates me about this rule book, I will when we get to the match, I will tell you because it, it's it, I don't know why they did this. Uh, let's let's treat it as that. Let's treat it as that because we don't want to start off bad, and then we will. If anybody can look up BGG and tell me. It is easier if you're not a Man U fan and actually know about football. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. Oh, there seemed to be something in my eye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anyway, let's begin our week, and then we'll deal with that in a second. If anybody can check it out on BGG real quick, let me know. So, um, we get one action that we're going to do. So, let me see what I can do. I can increase my production by one if you have another fitness. So I've only got two money. Uh, let's go to the sponsor board. Uh, yeah, we got to go to sponsor boards. Um, choose this one on two. Ooh, that would be super helpful. I don't know if I want you as an ad board. That'd be nice to have you as an ad board. Give me a little bit of money, raise my production, and I get a boost to the first game for a win. <laughs> Sorry, that's soccer. No, dude. <laughs> Flathead. All right, so let's see. Uh, if you don't have any sponsor cards attached to your stadium board, gain two production and five. Otherwise, gain one production. Ooh, that could really, this one wouldn't be too bad either. So this one, if I take you as an ad board, so check this one out. This one is an interesting one. So basically, if I take this as an ad board, I don't get any quick benefits, so I wouldn't choose that. Instead, look at his ability. If you don't have any sponsor cards attached to your stadium board, gain two production and five euro. Otherwise, gain one production and three. I think this would be a good one to pick up first. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to make it an ad board. So with that ad board, it's my first one. I don't have anything there. So I'm going to gain two production going up to four and five money going up to seven. This is actually not bad. That's not bad. So I go up to seven. And this goes, what do you do? You slide it all the way here because it's now, it's now easy loan is now one of our sponsors. Yeah, good time to take that sponsor. Then we reveal the Dice Tower. So the Dice Tower is roll a die, gain four resource markers corresponding to the result on your director card. Okay, that might be an interesting one to take next too. All right, so that was the one action that we took is to get a sponsor, so we needed some money. We could spend production to do something a little bit Different if I wanted to. Are the staff cards that crappy? 
Mm, I'm not gonna. I think that's gonna be it for the Monday. I could. There's no actions that I really want to do right now. Uh, well, actually, I could train a player. Ooh, sorry for y'all heard that. I hit the mic by accident. I could train a player. Train one of your players, and then you may place one uh, one heat up and one injury on their player card. I could do that. And how do injuries work? Well, stupid book of explanations. And let's let's break that down. Players with injuries or uh, suspension cards on their player card, let's see. You cannot assign players with injuries or suspension cards on their player cards to the match. So I could get a doctor, and I could, so I can use her action, and then the next day I could buy this doctor and remove it. And then he could play. Ooh, that sounds like a plan. So I'm going to spend two, uh, two operational costs to use... Her action, so I'll put a marker on there, and her action costs one fitness. I go down to one to basically make this guy a little bit stronger. I'll put it on you, and he also gains an injury. So that means that he would not be able to play um, this match. But that's just, I'm done with, with Tuesday. We go to Wednesday. On Wednesday, remember, we get one action. I'm actually going to buy this doctor. And this doctor only costs one euro. So I buy him for one as that action. And I cannot, I cannot use another action. Oh, whoop, wrong card. Shift, 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 boom. All right, you always shift them down. You always shift them that way because at the end of the at the end of the week, you discard the bottom. Okay. I need to buy a player, and then uh, use his action. Oh, I can use this action, but it costs one production. So I need to buy a player, and then I'll use that to get them. So let's take a look at the players. I need a midfield. Oh, that call, that guy costs four. After the match, if your team scores at least three goals, gain an additional goal. You're a midfielder, and you only cost one. So Wednesday, I bought you. Thursday. I have to do this action. So I first see a problem with your cunning plan. Yeah, I know. I see it too. I see it too. I was like, dang it. All right. So let's stick with what we got. Um, so Wednesday, I did that. Uh, third. Well, let's end the day. Thursday, I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to spend one per one operation. I needed one more operation to make this work. So Thursday, I'm going to spend that operation to and one of these, taking this down to one, to remove this injury so he can play. Um, and I don't have any other actions that I can really do, and I don't have two operation costs to make it work. So let's go to game day. All right, so... That was the week, so that's how the weeks work, right? Game day. You see these, these things on here? First thing you do is you find your player's number. So there is no number one, so you will be... Actually, you're just a goalie. You don't need to be on the field. But this is a blank guy. So we got a blank guy who is a striker who appears up here somewhere. All right? So let's take a look at the scout report for what we're dealing with. So the scout report for this is their coach has managed, to, so this is Blackston Kings, uh, their coach has managed to bring a very focused and fit team to the pitch this season. Their defense is solid as a rock, so they're playing a 4-4-2. What that means for non-soccer players of a 4-4-2 is that defenders 4, midfielders 4, and, um, and sorry, sorry. Defenders 4, midfielder 4, and forward 2. 
So you run it backwards. So you're saying it's basically like a 244 or a 442. Does that make sense? So they're going to have four people here somewhere. They will either be, they say their defense is rock solid, so they're going to have a ton of defense. So they have four people here, a lot of defense happening. They have four people here where it could be a lot of defense, or they could have two people on this side trying to defend the, uh, the left side, and then four, they, they're going to have two people that are going. So what we want to do, remember, we, this is, we got ten people that we're going to place. So we're going to do, um, let's just, you just throw out randos. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we set up our formation. Hey, Tara, what's more? What's, what's up? Sorry, just waking you up. We set up our formation based on our formation card. And when you start the game, you get a basic formation. So we can do a 5-4-1, five, 5 in the back, 4 in the mid, 1 in forward. Or we can do a 4-3-3, three, three, which is 4 in the back, 3 in the mid, 3 in the forward position. All right, so that if you want to read how those work, there's how it works. Yeah, you have attacking defenders too. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the 4-3-3. Three, three. So I need to set this game up, and I'll put this up here so you can see that as well. So I'm going with the 4-3-3. He's gonna be in, he's gonna he's a striker in the front, so that's him. He's he's definitely part of the three front. And I'll put him in this zone. Um then we have let's do this, and I'll flip them to their corresponding sides in a second. So four, three, three. So this will be four, one, two, boom. Okay. So now what we do is we need to have, so this is a four, three, three. So what we have to do now is we need to make an equal amount of attackers and defenders. So there's 10 people on the pitch, and we need to make five of them defend and five of them attack. And usually what they tell you to do is go from lowest to uh, all the way up to see who's going to be defending, and the rest will be attacking. So for instance, we can do two is going to be a defender. Uh, let's switch four and nine. We can make you an attacker. So we've got five, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So Bob, let me know if I screwed that up, because I believe the lower numbers are supposed to be your defender sets. So I've got two defenders here, a defender over here, I've got a striker over here, a defender here, a no name, a defender here, no name, and a striker here. So we've got our four, three, three. Does that make sense to everybody? The rest of these scrubs are on the bench. Uh, yeah. All right, and then we have our goalie. Okay, game day. So what we're going to do is we are going to flip this card and see how they're going to attack. I suggest some attacking midfielders as you're unlikely to get through the defense is what I'm reading from the scouting. Um, good. I got a two. Potentially. I want to be able to defend against them, too. They won't be attacking much, which is why on my right wing, I'm thinking I have one defense, and on the left wing, I've got two. Then I've got two here. Let's try this out and see what happens. Let's try this out and see what happens. So. First major complaint about the rule book uh, incoming for anyone who's watching this. First major complaint about the rule book for about this attack. So the rule book says that on match day, let's, let's get the match day. Here we go. So on match day, the rule book does not tell you how to play the game with the board. What it does is it tries to explain that, and then it says, here's an example of how to play the game. You get two cards, and you flip them, and then you play with the two cards. That has nothing to do with how you play the game. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, how you play this game is, let's go back down here. You flip this card over, and you see their formation. Look at that. So you see their formation. They are Division Three. This is how they're set out. So this is what we're going to be corresponding with with our playthrough. Right? 
what the book tried, what the book confused the hell out of me doing it, it was saying okay well if you're going to attack it basically you have to it, the book is saying you have to flip so this corresponds to this this corresponds to this and then it's this this to that this to that this to that which makes no sense whatsoever what the fact of how you play this game is is just as the card is laid because our goals down here their goal is up there that it makes complete sense that you just leave it as it is and result and resolve it exactly like you see it and how you result trust me it sounds confusing it i was confused at this for a very long time and the book sucked at it i'm just gonna call it oh before i go into game day sorry i almost screwed up i'm gonna spend two fan re uh two fan resource going down to one and i'm putting two fans in the stands uh. Where are my fans? Where are my fans? Oh, here they are. No? Where are they? I'm going to use dice, because I can't find them right now. So I'm going to put two fans in the stands. I spend two fan resources to put two fans in the stands. Alright. What you have to remember is that your right wing is their left wing looking from their goal area. Yeah, yeah, what they're saying, what the rules are saying is if the game's like this, if you flip the card upside down, then this is how you have to play it. Don't, don't do that. D don't make your life hard. Just, just resolve it just like this. You're going to do their left wing with your left wing, their right wing with your right wing, and then you're going to just bump it. You're just going to go uh, bump it like this one to this one to that one. The end. Okay, just compare zones. It's just an annoying thing they did in the rule book that was abysmal. Okay, so we see here that we're gonna resolve we're gonna resolve them and then we'll resolve us. So it's that's the way that my brain helps make it make sense. So on their left wing, which is which is what we have here, you resolve left wing, right wing, and then the, the other zones. There are five zones to this game. And it's gonna sound confusing. But this entire area here is one zone. This is the left wing, right? Then you resolve this side. This entire zone here is the right wing, so that's zone two. Then you do, uh, then you do back, mid, and forward on the cards, and that's how you resolve the game. Why is that complicated? I don't know. But anyway, so they are... Basically, they are kicking one, but I have a defender who has one power. Everyone that doesn't have... Uh, this power symbol on them, every one of these has a one defense other than what's here. So they kick for one in the left wing, but I block it. This is why uh, this is why Bob was saying you should have probably more attackers in the midfield because they've got a lot going on. So they do that, so they block it. I look at my left wing, I have one kick, but this one here blocks a power level three. So he blocked the shot, so we've closed that off, no score. Then we come here, they have a block two defender, all right? Well, I fire on my right wing, I fire one shot here, he blocks it, but that's all he can block. Then I shoot again, and it goes toward, and it's like, okay, well, no one's in the right field to block that shot, but look at their goalie. Their goalie has two gloves on it, and it blocks a one power. So their goalie blocks one. So no, no score there. The goalie has blocked one one shot, and if you look on his card right here, there's two gloves. He can only block two of those shots of one or less. Cool, so no score on the left or right. The nil-nil game. So then we start with them. Yep, all up to the RB. So then we start with them. This guy here tries to kick. He is blocked. Actually, no, it's forward forward, right? It's forward forward, uh, I think. Bob, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. It's forward forward, right? Uh, for example, so freaking stupid. I think it's forward forward. I think it's forward forward, mid mid, back back, or is it forward back, mid mid, forward back? I think, I think that's what it is. It's forward back, mid mid, forward back. Yep, that's what it is. Forward, back, mid, mid, forward, back. You resolve it just like you see it. Okay, so 
This man's coming in with the heat. So he is blocked. This is a difficult area right here. He's right, I should have done a... Well, I had the blocks. I should have probably put a little bit more into that. So, I kick. He block. Oh, actually, sorry. Sorry, I do score. I do score. Ooh, roll this back. Roll this back. Roll this back. So, let's do this. This is where, like, you got to pay attention to this because I actually did score. So, let's, let's roll it back to the beginning. Sorry, sorry. Kick. Block. Kick. Block. Done. Over here. Kick. Block. Power level 2. Kick. Power level 1. Can't block it. So our no-name actually scored one point. Woohoo! <laughs> that makes me feel good. Alright, so then we go to here. We do a uh, kick block. So then we got uh we got a kick kick from them. I got one block, one block from my goalie. Um, I kick, they block, and then they're going to kick, my goalie blocks it, I kick, they block it, and that's the game. And that's the game! <laughs> we won by one point! <laughs> we won by one point! That is amazing! I thought they were going to score and tie it up, but they didn't. They didn't score and tie it up, because we blocked it. My goalie blocked one. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> So we won by one point. So remember, I'll run through this one more time for people who are like, what? So this is the power level for which they can, they can block, right? So power level three or higher, power level one or higher. So power level, uh, sorry, one or lower, three or lower, they block, not higher. So uh, this power level one kicks down the left trying to score. The number four intercepts it and says, nope, block the shot. And then I come up here looking on the left wing. The only other attacker I see is number six with one power. They kick, but they can block three and lower, so they block the shot. Then we come over here to the two. I kick, two or lower, block the shot. My amped up youngster fires that shot for, um, for two, like for one plus one power two. He gets past because he can't, he can't block that because he's already been used. Tell me how you got two players on the pitch for this game. What do you mean? We get our veteran, and then we got our youngster. So, I'm curious, Bob, what are you talking about? When you start the game, you get a veteran and a youngster to start. That's like rule setup 101. That's in game setup. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Uh, players together decide in which division they want to play. Then it says, draw one veteran card and draw one youngster card and place them on the right side of the, ma of the match board according to their symbol on their card to start. That is your starting hand. This thing said, do play up setup as necessary and then do that. That's how I got two people on the board. Because setup rule says that I start with two people. And the, and the uh, rules over here says that set up the game as usual. You only apply these following changes. It doesn't say to, that you don't start with any players or start with just one veteran. You start with two per the rule setup. That's how. All right. Uh, so you need one fitness token available for each player you want to play in your match. You get one anyway. I don't, I believe... You gotta tell me the stuff before match day, dude. Let me see. Shoot number three, match day. Prepare for the match. Uh, read the scout report. Play any tactic card. Choose the player you want to use for the match and assign one uh, strength resource on each player card you wish to play. Mm, boom! Right there. Some players, uh, you cannot use two player cards with some jersey numbers during a match. Symbol on there for the match. But did I have a I have an after the match? All right, so I'll have to use this one. 
put a strength resource. Put a strength resource. We'll put a strength resource on you so you're not playing. All right, let's redo this fight and see what happens. Um, so three block, one block, two block, two score, one block, one block, one score, shoot, block, kick, block, shoot, score. I lost. There it is. I lost the game. Because he was out. Yeah, I didn't have enough strength to put him in the game. So I lost the game. Good catch. Good catch. Staff is actually five. Stadium is four. Players are still two. Good catch. All right, so there we go. So I lost two to one. We did not win the first game, but we're not done. Both those attackers in midfield center score. Yep, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because these are used up by this zone. So it would have been kick, score, kick, score, kick, block. So it's actually three to one. So I lost three to one. Yep, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. So what happened to that? Where did that go? Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I fixed it. I'm supposed to, uh, they can only block there. They take care of this, and then they take care of this. All right. Consequence, roll the die. I rolled a two. We look at this chart. What happens on twos for a loss, we have an injured player. So our only player gets injured. Roll low, pay the price. And that is the week. Then we advance the game board. So on the game board, people who won, which was uh, Blackston, they won. I move up, they move up three points. I lost, I stay at zero. And then we need to find out how these three fared. So basically, that's what these color, that's what these different dice are for. You roll these dice and move them according to their number of how they fared during the week. Ooh, not bad. So blue is zero, green is zero, and red is three. And that is the first week. Thanks, Bob. Like I said, this thing right here confuses my brain. So that's the end of the week. So we go back. We discard this card. So our first game was a total failure. So we go back, do this, do this. We gain money equal to how many fans are in the stand. So we clear that out, which means we gain two money. We then have to pay people for the end of the week. So what we do is down here... And I'll try to zoom in here so you can see this. See this symbol right behind me? Where it's green, I pay money. Yellow, I pay money. Red, I pay money. So basically, if it's in the green zone, like this one, I have to pay one. If it's in the yellow, uh, one of them are, I have to pay two. And another one is in the green zone, so one more. So I'm down to four. So there you go. I paid, I paid basically what's based on that. I've rolled my consequence. The week's over. Uh, we start a new week. So in the new week, uh, everybody, all, all things except for money go down. You can only keep two at max two at the end of the week. So that's why the hurt card says at the end of the week you may keep up to three fans. Right now I'm at one, one, and the money stays at four. 
and that's it. That ends. It. So you would always fall your resource. Your resources always fall down to two, and then when you do production, you gain you gain what you gain. Okay, so let's start off the new week, and hopefully we can do better next week. We lost that game. So uh, we got four four euro uh, four resource cash resource, but in production we get four more, so we would have six seven eight. That doesn't seem right. Because the consequence is a d6. See page 24, uh, entry. Check the match results, uh, roll the consequence. Roll a 12 sided die, the die result indicates which player, oh, which player's injured. So I have to roll, and if I roll a, what do I roll? Uh, place an injured token on the corresponding player card if they were assigned to the match. For more details, see page 27. If you roll a number that does not correspond to any of your players assigned to the match, nothing happens. Four. So player number four is injured, not my guy. How about that? I don't always play perfect, I'll tell you that much. I will goof shit up. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you get that symbol, roll a 12-sided die. The die result indicates which player is injured. Place an entry token on the corresponding player card if they were assigned to the match. For more details, see page 27. If you roll a number that does not correspond to any of your players assigned to the match, nothing happens. So let's go to page 27. I'm going to it. I'm going to it. Injured. Okay, so no players. So basically, if you don't have a player assigned to the match, an actual player, then nothing happens. So number four goes away. All right. Only applies to your actual player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's I took it in. I took it in turn to see. All right, so we got a new week. So we do. We're doing our production. So I did that, and I got four more, which hits eight. This goes. Um, I gained three, so this will go to four. I gained four, so this will go to five. And then I just gained two of fitness. Uh, and then board meeting. Demands for sponsors. Our sponsors want the team to play a game against their clients. Should we do such a thing? Well, let's let's roll let's roll yon dice and see what it says. Roll the four. Uh, four is blue, blue, red. So the blues have it. Yeah, I do. I do. Not now. Maybe during winter break. So gain one, uh, one, one, one cash resource. Choose a player and place one. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Choose a player and place one penalty card, one suspension card on them. Can I remove suspension cards from anyone? It's gonna be. It's gonna be. No, I want to train you. Actually, I trained you. I'm an idiot. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. I trained you so you would have flipped. Uh, I need to check a rule. I need to check a rule with training players. Uh, I need to check a rule with training players. Training players. Because training players with youngster train side. All youngsters have the same strength, but their train side is unique. You may not look at the train side until you hire them. Youngsters are always a surprise. Uh, train symbol. The, this symbol indicates that player has been trained. Players usually have greater strength. But let's talk about training that youngster. He's going to be suspended. It wouldn't have mattered. We still would have lost the game. 
but I did train him, so I should have flipped that card. I'm freaking up this this thing, and I apologize. I'm gonna start like spiraling into shame in a second. We'll get week two right. Thanks, Bob, for helping. Um, that's the thing. There's no freaking index in this thing, and it drives me crazy. Uh, training players. Not in the book. Because I know when you train players, you flip them over. She did use the train ability on him. He should have flipped over. I'm looking for training them. I, I she trained him, which put that which put that hot symbol on him. But the problem is, she trained him. He scored anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, so I'm wondering if I was supposed to flip him when she trained him and then put the hotness on him, um, and then t and then set that up. It's still the same, but she trained him. Yeah, turn the card over if trained. Okay, cool. Oh, he's suspended anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, he is suspended. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I, I'll get it. I'll get it. It's just more... This is the stuff where if the rule book is not clear, it gets very confusing. Yeah, he, oh, it meant he was strength four during the match. Thank you. Yep, so I, I did play it. I played it wrong, but it didn't matter, only because he still scored. If it would have blocked the scoring, it would have been different. Okay, so uh, we did the board meeting. We gained one money, and somebody got suspended. And that is the board meeting. We're going into Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, my first action is to buy a fitness trainer. Um, so I'm going to spend two. Going down to one to buy uh, a fitness trainer. This is the reason why Bob was saying you need to strengthen up, man. To increase our production by one, if you have another fitness trainer, gain one uh, fitness resource. As an action, I could gain two, which I'm actually going to do now. So I purchased you as my, and I increased my production by one. Um, and then I'm going to spend two of this going down to three to use your action. To gain two fitness resource. Okay. Oh, these are supposed to get deleted too at the end of the day. Sorry. We would shift down so it wouldn't have changed anything. Then we replace, replace. So it wouldn't have changed anything. Replace, replace, replace. Oh. What are you talking about? No, it doesn't. Where do you see it costing two? As an action, I gain two fitness resource. It costs me nothing. It costs two production resources, not fitness. Two production. Operation. Yep. I'm not wrong. I'm actually right. <laughs> Look at that. Pay two operation resource to use the card action, not two fitness resource, two operation resources. The extra, the extra action per day is an operation cost, not a fitness cost. So, and I did pay it. I had five. So I did pay, I did pay the two going down to three to use his ability to get two fitness. So it's not two fitness resources, two operation. I was not wrong. Uh, <laughs> um, let me see. All right, so that was, I bought him. I did it. That And Tuesday, we go to Wednesday. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So staff has gone up to six. Um, I need to buy a player, and then I need to train that player, which is what I'm going to do. My goalie's going to be coming in this match because we have the fitness to do it. 
I need a good forward. I got a midfielder. Fans. The the con the the things now are are digging into me here. I don't want to pay four for a frickin' midfielder. I'm gonna pay one. So my first action is to pay one for that guy. Can you get something to remove the suspension on your youngster? I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything at all. So I'm going to pay one for that guy. He's giving me two of this, taking me to six. And then I'm going to use two more operation costs to train him the two shotter striker and as a bonus for training him I gain two more which I need to start building up the stadium I wish I could get something to remove that suspension. I don't see anything. Um, two more for a bonus. He's down. Ooh. I have to use your action to clear that. Oh wait, nobody's injured. You're just suspended. Yeah, I got nothing to clear that suspension. Ooh, this is not looking good. Okay, so I train I Monday I bought him and I used him to gain some strength. Uh, sorry, that was Tuesday. Wednesday I bought him and I used that, so we're on Thursday. We're almost back to match day. Uh, let me turn this thing off because I'm getting rid of artifacts. Any rid artifacts for some reason. See page 16, youngsters train, side item 3 for some additional info regarding your youngster. Side item... Uh, youngsters train, side on three experience spaces. Most of the youngster cards have experience spaces. If the youngster has an empty whistle space and plays a match, place a victory point on it. If they have an empty shoe space and scored, place a victory point in it. Some youngsters have more specifics. So every match they play, they gain something. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, So he had a whistle, so he'll gain a victory point on him. Thank you. All right. And he scored a goal, too. He scored a goal as well. He was the one that did score, so he would get one there, too. So he's got two on him. All right. I got to find a way to get this guy in the game. Or I could buy another. I could buy another player. But that's going to suck for operational cost. Basically, operational cost is going to cost me two, three, four uh, players. I have three players now. So it's going to cost me um, two, four, five. So I have to buy a one cost person. I'm going to buy a youngster. So for my last day, I'm going to buy a youngster. Because then this is all I have left to pay for that. So I'm going to buy a youngster. Fortunately, he is a defender, and my goalie will be in this game. So I have enough to pay operational costs. And then, yeah, he's full. He's full up. That's all the tokens he can get. Yep. So then I will spend uh, three going down to one 
strength to put one, two, and he's supposed to have this on. Oh wait, I can't buy a youngster. Shoot. I can't buy a youngster. Or I can't. I can only, I actually can't train that guy. That's the problem. I can't train you or else I'm going to injure you. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm not going to train them. So let me get this two back. This will be back at three. So I can't train you. Or else I'd, or else I'd injure you. So we're playing just like this. And this would go down by two. All right, so let's so we spent our three, which which is correct, to put all three of these wonderful gentlemen into the game for game day. Ah, what are we doing? So we've got a scout report. Downtown United. According to the press, this team is a contender for relegation. They don't use dangerous forwards and defenders. We must defeat them at a 4-4-2. So the scout report helps you think about how you're going to set up your team. Well, we know we got one, which is a donate. He's, he's a goalie, so it doesn't matter. Um, you are number no name. So a no name's coming in here to defend. And we would draw a formation card. We're supposed to draw a formation card before the game, I believe. Uh, Bob, tell me if I'm wrong there. I think we get a new formation card each week because it's kind of like we're practicing. Read the scout report. Play any tactic card. Uh, yeah, because I think we get a formation card every week. I'm looking up that rule. I thought only staff could train. Because all I could do is actions is hire, sell, hire, contract, stadium, or card action. And I thought card actions are the only thing that can train. Now you got me, like, really doubting myself. Nope, you do not gain tactics cards automatically. Treat. Okay. Let me look at my cheat sheet here. Weekday. Action cards. Resolve the match. Check results. Yeah, production doesn't say... Show me where in the rulebook you're seeing that production could do it. I haven't seen anywhere where production without an, a card action can train a player. Remove score zero zero. Discard opponent card. Remove rightmost player staff. Sponsor and fill up the five. Remove. Creating uh, Yeah, yeah. I know. I don't have one. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't have one. <laughs> uh, only cards can do that. Anyway, here we are in a four four two. According to the press, this team is con is a contender for relegation. They don't use dangerous forwards, so we can. So that means they defend forwards, and they don't use dangerous forwards and defenders. But their midfielders are probably tough. I think their midfielders are super tough. Probably that's probably where they're they're gonna set. So let's set ourselves up here. Um, we can do the five four one. Maybe the five four one might help, but they don't use dangerous, but they may defend. I just need to hit higher. I 
think I just need to hit. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough match. So no name defender has to be here somewhere. My goalie stays. And then we got a number eight striker that is here. Okay, so let's... According to the press, this team is a contender for relegation. They don't use dangerous forwards and defenders. We must defeat them. Attacking defenders and forwards required. Load up midfield with defenders. I, I was thinking that too. So I think I might do a 5-4-1. I think that's what I might do, a 5-4-1. We'll do that. I, that one has to be an attacker. I'll do a defender there. And then uh, one, we'll put a striker up top. And then we'll do the five. So we got, you have to be a defender. Strike, 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 and defend. I think I might do another strike. How about that for a 5 4 1? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put you as a defender on the wing, you as a striker in the box. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? Maybe a bit too much attackers? I was figuring that this could be... That we've got defending on the left wing, def one defense on the right, but a kick to try to score. And then we've got a lot of attackers in the defender position. But if midfield is strong, they might score there. So maybe... We need to make the midfield complete defenders. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Because this is basically the tactic of the last... Uh, I see what you're saying. Let's do this. So we could do this formation. But I need to be able to attack him a little. I've only got four. We can attack on the... He has to be a... Def, he can, oh, he has to be in a... No, number eight's an attacker. I could do attacking on this side. So then we've got... We got the goalie in play. Which is why I was going to make one... Of, which is why I was going to make... Uh, he has to be a defender, but I was going to make one of them an attacker. But if I have an attack, defend, attack, defend, two defense, one attack. So you see, so you see the strategy in this game for people who are like, why, why am I, why am I holding up? It's because you have to think about this is the part of the game that a lot of people will complain about and say and fuss and fight over. But I actually like this part of the game because with that little bit of information, and you see how Bob was like interpreting that stuff. That you have to think about how you're going to play this because when you flip this card, you don't know what it's going to be. So you're trying to think, what's the best strategy for doing this? This might be a good spread. There's a potential for him to score on me, but I got my goalie just in case to defend against two shotters, which means he could block two from the scout report. But I need to be able to score two. Ugh. Let's try it. Let's try this. Let's try the strategy and see what, what, what we got. All right, this is going to be a tough one. So let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, left wing. We shoot a two. It gets past my guy, but my goalie is a two plus. Um, so my goalie catches it. So that's one catch off my goalie blocked. Thank God. It's going to happen again, too. Um, I shoot, they block. Left wing done. Right wing, uh, they shoot with a two strength. My goalie's a two, so my goalie blocks that one and is done. Then I shoot, and they block my one. So, pff, done. 
They're going to kick with a 1. I block it. I kick with a 1. They block it. They got two defenders, so I kick, they block. Then they kick and score because I can't block it. My goalie's tired. I kick, they block. Game over, I lost. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Ugh! Hey, I need this guy back. Oh, and once again, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to put people in the stands. Sorry, sorry. I meant to do, I meant to put people in the stands. Dang. I lost again. So you see how this stuff goes? It's like you get this report. It gives you a little bit of information, but not a lot. But you have to think about what that stuff means. It says that they don't attack strong, but twos are freaking strong to me. And they beat us by a point. That sucks. Oh, well. We lost. So they, which is uh, Downton Football Club, who is right here, will move up three. One, two, three to six. Oh, sorry. I can't see that. So they'll move up to six. We stay at zero. And let's see what the other three do. All right. So blue stays at zero. Green stays at zero. Red moves up one. Then we have to roll for our consequence for the match. We lost this one, so let's see what happens. Roll the three. A 3 on a loss is an injury. We roll a d12. A 1. That is our goalie. Our goalie is number 1. So our goalie gets injured. Put that back. Do that, do that. We get 2, 4, so 6. 7 for the two fans. We pay the cost, which is um, 2, 4, plus 1, 5. So we're left with 2 money at the end of the week. Then um, we have to bust this down. Ugh, that, that. That burns. That burns so hard. So just to let you know, this game is not easy, right? Um, this is why I was like, this this game is either going to be you're going to like it or you're going to not. But at least I played a good week. So we'll try the next the next game and we prove e we improve each one. Keep a maximum of one fan, one fitness, and one production marker. Then discard the rest. Okay. So this one I could keep up to three. So this will go down to three because of her feature. But you're going to go to 1, and then you're already at 1. <sighs> oh, wait. Wrong card. I already discarded it. Sorry, sorry. All right. Um, so his suspension's over. He is hurt, but I could fix that. And we should be able to play all four of them next round. All right, so... Production week. Four, we're going to six. Three, we're going to six. Four, we're going to five. And three, we're going to four. All right, board meeting. <laughs> Unfaithful players, we found out that one of our players has been secretly negotiating with the board members of our rivals about a possible transfer at the end of the season. What should we do? Man, that's thematic. Let's roll a die and see what happens. We're not doing so well. Four. Four is blue, blue, and red, so blue. What are we dealing with that? 
He let the team down, but we need him to play. Let's plan a team meeting and make him apologize to his teammates. Everything will be fine. This week, you may resolve. You may only resolve card actions on Tuesday. Place a reminder on this uh, on the Tuesday space as a remind as a uh, reminder. So we'll grab a reminder token and place it on Tuesday. So that's the only day I can perform card actions. This gets discarded. We then get rid of these. These are removed. Shift. That. This. Okay, we got a scout. Yeah, I'm going to heal the goalie on Tuesday for sure. Okay, so that was that was Monday. We're on Tuesday. This is the only day I can do any of these actions. So I'm going to actually use... Um, I may use this as a fast... I'll do this as a fast action to heal the goalie. So we got our players back. So what can we do? And that's supposed to come off. I can use an action to gain two strength and then... Do a production action to heal my player. I can do that. So let's do that. Okay, um, I, the problem with training a player is somebody gets injured. I don't want to do that. And I can't find anybody who trains players that do, without injuring them. Oh, I'm supposed to discard this too. Sorry. Ooh. I could buy him for one. He's a defender. And he raises my production by one, so at least four people will get to play each round. Um. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think here. I will gain two, going to six, and then I will spend two, going down to three, use this ability to heal this player. That's Tuesday. Wednesday, I need, a, I got a midfielder, I got a forward, and I got a defender. Uh, Maybe I might get a sponsor. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, this is a tough scenario for sure. Uh, Angie, should you have uh, slidden down the player row you put card at bottom? 
Um, oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. You're right. It should have been this way. Should have been that way. You get rid of the bottom one, which I did. I grabbed these. It's just I put them at the bottom when it actually should have been at the top. You're absolutely right. And I think I did it for these. I don't think I did it for that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Um, okay. So we did our Tuesday action to do this. We're on Wednesday. We have enough to add another player. I know my operation costs because I've got four players. I actually have four players now. I've got the stadium hasn't been upgraded. So I'll be spending uh, five. So I can only buy a one. If anybody costs one, I can buy another youngster. Hmm. If you can't train a player, then buy one. You have enough fitness to play all players this week. You can always sell extras next week. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that too, Bob. I'm thinking that too. And I think I might. I need to. I uh, let's see. Five players will have. I also have to watch my costs. So right now it's two, one, and two. So it's five. So I need to make sure I have five. And I do. So I'm going to buy a player. I've got a defender. Midfielder. Mm -mm -mm. I'll... Let's go ahead and that's all I could do is just buy Thursday. Um, what can I do for the stands? Actually, I could probably get a sponsor. Let's see what sponsors give me. Discard all player cards from the transfer area, draw five new players' cards, and hire any one of them for the normal cost. Uh, train up the three youngsters. Ooh. I could train these for free with this thing. Look at that. Yeah, look at this. If I take them as an ad board, I get to train three youngsters. I think I'm going to do uh, Playfair Toys. Let's do that. I'm going to do that, and instead of getting the production... Um, and the resource, I'm just going to get the ad board of Train 3 Youngsters, so that's my second ad. I have one, two, th one, two three, four, five. So these are trained. And I don't think you're a youngster. So we've got... Okay, <laughs> we've got a little bit... We got a little bit... We got a little bit better here. If I had one more youngster, I would train them for sure, but we got our pro, and we've got our, um, you're not a youngster. I wish you were, because I would train the heck out of you. You, I don't have extra actions. I don't have extra actions this round. Oh, wait, yes I do, yes I do. Um, uh, I can only do card actions as extra actions, Bob. I can only do card actions as extra actions, and one of my card actions isn't, uh, I can't, uh, and remember the board meeting, the board meeting says you may only resolve card actions on Tuesday and the extra actions are only for card actions. So I can't, I can't do it. So there we go. We just got what we got and that's what we get. Okay. I, I, I got a sponsor and it's game day. All righty. Middleham Local Club. This team has a decent midfield but lacks good defenders. We need to take advantage of this weakness. Also, watch out for their attacking center midfielders. 
That means to me, midfield defense like you would not believe. All right, so our goalie is back. Um, he is no longer suspended. Um, we've got, let me zoom this out so you can see me adding them all. We've got a backfielder, a backfielder, and a midfielder. And we need to spend one, two, three, four, five. We've got six fitness. So we're down to one. So all of them can play. All right, so we know number eight is Smid. Uh, number five is is a uh, defender. Number two is a defender, and then we got our goalie. All right, so we're doing the three four three. So three four three, and their midfield is powerful. It lacks defenders, but it's strong. Yeah, defend midfield heavily with a four. I don't have a four four three formation. Three attackers up front. I only have a four three three and a five four one. So I only can defend the midfield for three, or I could do. I'm actually going to do the five four one. Um, so I could. So like you said, I could do the midfield, defend midfield heavily uh, for a four. Uh, I wish I had a four four three, but I've got a five four one. So let's do the five four one formation. And it's all defensive. I can't defend the entire midfield because I have this freaking guy here. I don't have to play him, honestly. I really don't have to play him. Because I know I need to defend the midfield. So he can sit on the bench. Because he can actually cost me a score. And we could do... I get one point back. I only have a 4. I only have a 5-4-1. So let's take a look at this. I wish I could do a 4-4-3. But these are my formations. Now, unless I read that wrong, you can only use the formations that you have. I would love to do a 4-4-3. A, a, a but let me read that again. So prepare for the match. Read the scout report. Play any tactic card from your hand and place all jersey markers among the nine zones according to the indicated formation. You cannot move the jersey markers during subsequent steps. Note, formation 433 means that your opponent plays four defenders, three midfielders, but you don't know they will play it in exactly the opponent card image is shown upside down, so blah, blah, blah. Sorry, no 443, only 442. I don't have a 442. Can you... So this is another thing with the rules that I don't follow. Because it says that, um, resolve the match, read the opponent, you may play a tactic card, a different card other than the one you played during the prepare for match step, and resolve its effects. Then take both tactic cards back to your supply. I think I'm stuck with the tactic card that I have. I think that's the thing. Yeah, I can only use the formations I have. Let me read let me read uh let me read player board setup for one second. I think maybe uh Yeah. Yeah, so I'm stuck. So I'm stuck at a uh, I'm either at a 541 or a 433. Three. And if the midfield's strong, then I need to do a 541. I could defend the wing. I could stack four here and do that. Well, no, I have to I have to play it as it is. I could do this. This is the best I got. And then five in the back. Now I got a goalie that can block two power. Hmm. You are my striker number eight. Uh, where's number eight? No, number ten, sorry. You are my striker. You are just there. With attacking wings in the defense. Both wings in the defense? Then I should go for striker. I've got two defenders, which is two and five, that have to be defenders. 
then I could do axe, basically. Is that is that what we're saying? So I would do so one three one in defense area. One three one? Okay. Ooh, so make He's saying uh, one, well, I need one more. It's five, it's five, not four. So we're talking about a, potentially? So on a five, four, one, the midfield is pure defense, just wall, wall of defense. But then I've got, Two attacks. I can switch. I can switch. I can switch these two. And just defend all hell to the center. Too many, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to figure out which one's to flip. I'm just kind of working it through. I need to flip two more. Um, the team has a decent midfield but lacks good defenders. You need to take advantage of this weakness. Also watch out for their attacking uh, central midfield. Two has to be a defender. Five has to be a defender. Eight can be an attacker, maybe. Right? Is that how we're saying? Three defender in center in center mid? Okay. Alright, so we got three defenders in the in the um we got three defenders. We can't have three there because that's a four. According to our formation, it's a five four one. I guess you can put the fours wherever you want. So we could do that potentially. Leaves the wing open, pretty, pretty open. And one on the central wing. I can't put one on the center wing. Well, uh, unless we're talking about this wing is what you're talking about, unless you're talking about over there. At, at a five, four, one, I can only have four here, so I can't play with adding another. So if we're putting three in the center, that's fine. I put one on the wing, and then I got one, two, three. The problem is I don't have enough attackers. I could flip eight to be an attacker. Make that right center wing an attacker. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're five and five. Oh my god, okay. Uh, then he can play. Doesn't really give me much. He doesn't give me much. He can sit on the bench. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's it. I think you're right. Let's get some fans in the stands. Twelve six five four. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see what happens. We're committing to it. We're committing to it. We're committing to it. Let's do this. Oh, this one. This side. All right. We're committing to it. Woo! <laughs> All right. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Okay, left wing, kick, 
Goalie block. Kick blocked. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, kick blocked. Right wing. Kick block, kick, goalie block. Kick. Goalie block two, my goalie's done. So nothing on the left and right wings. Yeah, 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 I remember that, I remember that. So far nothing bad has come up for us to use the fan, the fan numbers to re-roll. Adjust your strength if you're taking him out. Uh, I did, I did, right? It's... I thought I took it back. I thought I took it back when I did that. Did I not? I thought I did. Okay, so... Alright, so we've got defenders. Kick. Defend of two. Block. Kick. Block. Kick. That's their second goalie block. Their goalie's done. Kick. They're all level ones. No one can block a three power. They score one. My turn. I'm kicking a three power. Nobody can stop me. We tied. <laughs> we tied. We tied. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so let's try this again. I gotta make sure I did this right. Kick. Goalie block. Kick, they block. Kick, that's my second goalie block, he's done. Kick one, blocked. Kick one, um, blocked by the goalie. Kick two, block. Kick one, block. Kick, goalie blocks. Three shields, but they're not all three power. Three power kick. Gets through, they score. I kick power level three. They can't get through. I score. Game ends in a in a in a draw. <sighs> All right. So with a draw, uh, we both move up one point. With a draw, let's see where the others move. So I have to roll red twice. Uh, one for. Oh man. One, two, three, and the other red. One, and then the green. One. Ah! Uh, all right, so let's let's roll for our consequence. A four. Eh. Let's see what the four means. I think that should be. Fine. It's simple. Roll for consequence. Show me the oh, yeah, symbol. A temporary strength. Place the indicated number of temporary strength on any player card that was assigned to the match. That's so a temporary strength for the next match. Oh, wait a second. This guy would have a permanent strength. And took that off when I shouldn't have. And we'll give. You have a temporary strength. Okay, so that's the match consequence. And then we get paid for the two fans, which puts us up to six, seven. But we also have to pay for production costs. We're at seven minus two, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, two, four, plus one, five. So we go down to two because we had seven. Then um, everything goes down to one. Discard bottom rows. Reset. 
Discard. Reset. Got three more games. Three more games, and we are not looking good. We are not looking good. We need to win the next set. These games are harder. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Oh, let's go back to the bench here. Uh, they played some whistle games, so they'll get some victory points. And none of them scored. So you played a game, and you played a game, so you get two. Okay. All right. Ah! All right, Monday. <laughs> Production. If your next team is a Division 2-3, I would put the temp, uh, the temp strength on the goalie. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. You're right, they're probably stronger. Makes sense. You're right, you're right, Bob. All right, so production. Uh, we get five, uh, four plus two, so we're going to six. Uh, fandom, we're going to four. Uh, operation costs, we're going to five. And strength costs, we're going to four. All right, we need to find a way, uh, board meeting. Fan club on tour. The club does not have a lot of support during away games. Do we want to organize free buses to away teams? Let's find out. Come on, the board. <laughs> Let's see what y'all are doing. A four. I keep rolling fours. Uh, blue. So blue wins again. What do we got? Uh, this... Discard three fans, no, but we could do that from time to time. So discard three fans or money in any combination. Um, that means I'll do I'll do two and two. In a sponsor, maybe? Two and two and a sponsor might be good. Yeah, let's do that. Two and two. And now we're on Tuesday. And we have these actions left. <clears throat> so I could train a player, you, <laughs> then, and especially if we're getting into the heat, I could train a player and then heal them for sure. But it was gonna, it'll cost me one strength, which sucks. I could buy an assistant trainer, which would flip that temporary into a permanent. I could do that. My goalie just gets my goalie gets a permanent three plus power. What are we talking about? What was the result of the board result? It was a four. Oh, three! I did four. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, this will be five. Sorry, sorry, I did four instead of three. Thank you, Adam. It was three instead of four. Yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. So, one day a week. So, what I can do is I can hire... Hey, Greg. I can hire Samantha Smith as an assistant trainer. Which would turn her, using her side action, would turn this, that's two. But then I would have to use one, not being able to get everybody in. I've only got four and I've got five players. I need to find a way to get some strength. I can gain two strength from him. So I've got five, which means I've got two, two extra actions I can do. That's what that means. So i got two extra actions I can do. I can... With two extra actions, I can use... These are my... These... This is going to cost one. This will give me two. So this will give me six. I just need one to be able to play. Right? So think about, this is how I'm working this out in my head. If I spend one to train a player, I could train this player, injuring him. The bonus action, which is my first of the two, could be used 
um, to heal him. So he'll be trained and ready to go. I'll also get plus two fans as a bonus because I trained him. Then I could use an action to gain two, which would put me at five, so everybody should be able to play for the next day. But I don't have a bonus action, which means I can buy this card and then bonus action. So I think that's the plan, right? I can buy this card to flip that into a permanent. Ooh, I could gain a tactics card. I could spend two, get a Zeta to gain a tactics card money because my tactics suck. I could gain a tactics card. But I have no way to get money. <laughs> um, so operation costs are going to struggle this week. I could get a sponsor this week. So I could gain a tactics card. Bonus action, train somebody. Action, gain two strength. Bonus action, heal the player. And then I got one more day. Let's do that. And then, we'll, and then we'll get a sponsor with our last day to get money to be able to pay for the week. Okay, so first I'm going to spend two going down to three to gain a Zeta to gain a tactics card as a bonus. So I gain a new tactics card. Let me shuffle these up. Okay. So I got a 5-4-1 long passing. Uh, all right, we'll take a look at that during game day. So that's her bonus. I will spend two, going down to three, to then spend one to go down to three to train you, flipping you over, giving you an injury, and giving you a giving you a power, a permanent power. My midfielders are getting better. <laughs> okay. That was Tuesday. Wednesday, I will... Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. I'll spend an action to gain two, putting me to five. Then I will spend two, going down to one, to use my bonus action... I'm in this! <laughs> I am in this to use this to spend that last one to heal this player. Oh, I'm so in this. Uh, let's shift these down, put a new one on top. Right. That ends Wednesday. Thursday, we need money. <laughs> so Thursday is all about money. So Thursday, we're going to do an announcement for diaper pen, uh, potentially. Or we could get a sponsor. Discard all players. Um, adjust all your stats up to at least three. Build a stand for free, then put then place on it one from the supply. Ooh, build a stand for free. Or roll a die, gain four resource markers corresponding to the result on there. Uh, draw three youngster cards you may look to hire. I think I'm going to go with an announcement for Diaper Pen. So we're going to do for an announcement for Diaper Pen. So by sponsoring your club, they hope to appeal to young football-loving fathers. Maybe this isn't the coolest name to have on your jersey, but hey, look at the income. But I'm not going to do, I'm not going to make them a sponsor. I am not going to put them on an ad board. I'm just going to make an announcement for them for my last action to gain um, to gain five. So this is discarded. And I gained five going up to eight. All right. I have enough to pay operation costs. Um, and I think we're ready. Okay. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Why am I in this? Why am I in this so much? Cornfield United. So this team's coach focuses on attacks 
which often leaves their midfield open. Their right midfielder is injured, so you better focus there. Very, and they're playing a 4-3-3. Here is our new tactic card. Long pass. It's a 5-4-1. If one of the assigned uh, center defenders has the same heat as one of the assigned center uh, forwards, score a goal. Ooh, so it's kind of like a pass set. All right, so do we have a midfield kicker? We do. And do we have a forward? They don't have the same. They have the same heat. So we can get an auto goal between these between uh between these two. We can get an auto goal between them because it says if one of your center, oh, he's not a center defender. Dang it. Dang. So long passing ain't going to do it. But we have the potential but it's a 541 already have the 541 formation. So it could help, but we don't know. So it says the team's coach focuses on attacks, which often leaves their midfield open. So we that to me, and Bob, tell me if you think this is wrong, that to me states that we need to defend the backfield, we need to defend the defense zone heavily, and we need to attack in the midfield like crazy. And their right midfielder is injured, so we're definitely attacking on the right. Um, so we're putting you definitely are in the game. Number eight. The goalie is in for sure. Um, our forward's definitely in the game. Yeah, 5 for one's my friend on this one. Um, need to move these someplace a little bit more helpful. All right, so we need Defense City. So every all defenders are being called in. I know we need Defense City on this. All right, so 2 is defending, 5 is defending, and they said that they the team coach focuses on attacks, which often leaves their midfield open. The right midfielder is injured, so you better focus on there. Four through three. We're doing five, four, one. So five and two are definitely in the block. Um, we can do. You're attacking. You're attacking. Uh, number eight. You have to be up here. So you're attacking. We got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think? Uh, let me zoom in. What do you think? What do y'all think of this? He is an attacker, so I, he has to... And if the right midfield is injured... Remember, their right midfield is your left midfield. Probably means their player is... There is one strength. Yeah, that's why I have the defender there. On the left midfield. Oh, the left midfield. On the left wing, their right midfielder is injured. Yeah, so I have a defender there to block. Yeah, yeah, so I have a defender there to block the left wing, just in case there's a one there. And then I've got an attacker here. Or should I put, should I, you need one more attacker. One, two, three, four. Oh, dang it. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm going to make seven an attacker. Because I've got the defense down with these two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. 
Or should I swap? My only thing is, should I swap eight and blank? So if their, their right midfielder is injured, I'm considering that's this side, right? Looks good, let's go. All right, I'm considering it that side, but let's see. Let's see how this kicks. Here we go, flip. All right, so let's see what we're kicking with. Okay, so left. Kick, block, kick, goalie block, kick, goalie block. That's one of theirs. This side, kick power three. Dang it, block. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, blocked. Kick power one, blocked. Kick power two, goalie's out. Goalie's done. Ah, uh, this sucks. Okay, let's do this. I kick power three, but my defender's there. Uh, I thought my defender was... Dang it, they're only level twos. They score. Yep, they score. Dang it, I thought one of these were a level... I thought one of these was a level three. Blah. Okay. All right, midfield. Kick power one block, nothing. Then forward, I'm kicking with a four, and they can't block it, I tie the game. Oh! <laughs> they kick it, I tie the game. I tied the game. Uh, if one of you assigns center defenders, I don't have any center defenders. Oh, and this would go from five. Sorry, I forgot to drop this down. It's five people playing, right? So this is gone. And I forgot to fill the stands, so that would be gone. I don't know why I keep forgetting to fill... I keep forgetting to fill the stands. Okay. Dang it! Let's run... Th Can I see the tactic you're using? There you go. So, kick goalie block, kick block, kick my goalie block. Left wing, kick three, block three. I should have been on this side or else I, then I would have scored. If I was on this side, I would have scored. Dang it. Yeah. Ah, bah. But they would have scored. Uh, they would have killed my goalie in one go. Kick three, block three. Kick one, block one. Kick two, score. Oh, no. Kick two, goalie, block, goalie's done. Kick three. I have a two and a two. Can't stop it. I'm out of goalie. That's their score. Kick one block. Nothing there. Kick three. Can't block score. What is the uh what is the strength of player three one one and three eleven three eleven and eight? One, one, three. One, one, three. And if you look, they have a block three in the on the right wing. If he was over here, I would have scored. That's the only difference. I would have won. <clears throat> I would have won if I played him over here. Because if I played him over here, he would have kicked, scored, but they would have scored too. It would have ended in a tie anyway. It would have ended in a tie anyway. Because check this out. If I had to swap them. It would have been kick, goalie block, kick, score, kick, goalie block, kick, goalie block. Then this side would have been kick, block, uh, kick to 
score. Pick three, score. Pick block. Pick three, score. And it would have been 2-2. Two, two. It would have been 2-2. Two, two. We couldn't have... There was nothing we could have done about it. So we ended with a tie. <clears throat> we ended with a tie, which means we move up one, and then their division would move up one in the two division. So let's see what the others do. So red doesn't move, the top red doesn't move, the blue doesn't move, and this one moves up one, and then we roll for the other red, it moves up one. Uh, ho, ho, ho. It is a close one, folks. It is a close one. We are still, we are tied. <laughs> we are tied. Uh, we just need to be ahead of two of them at the end of the season, and we are tied right now with one of them. If we win our next game, potentially, we could not get relegated and I could win the scenario, but this is a tough one. All right, so let's deal with our consequence. Five. Five for a draw is a temporary, so this would fall off. I'm going to put it right back on the goalie. It comes off the bench. This will get discarded. Gain two money for the fans. If one of three or 11 had been an attacker, I think he would have scored a goal. Yeah, I know. I know. So this goes to four. <coughs> then uh, reset these. Uh, this would have moved down when I sponsored. Discard these two. Discard this guy. Slide it down. Get the next one out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I had an after match for the goalie. For the goalie after match, roll a die. I rolled a five. It says on a four to six, flip this card. Oh, he, he, what? Why? He went down to a power one from power two. Oh, dude. Um... After match, if you have a sold-out stadium, this player scores. Wait, did I just win? It says, after the match, if you have a sold-out stadium. I had both fans in the stands. Let's see what a sold-out stadium means in terms of the board game. Because I think I won if that's the case. After resolve all after match effects first before doing anything else to see who wins. So, what does full stands mean? Suspension players temporary. I might have won. So let's see if let's see if I won. Hey, is getting old therefore less power? Sold out stadium is four in the stands. Okay. Do you see where that is in the book, uh, Bob? Because I can't... Uh, maybe I'm just... Well, not maybe. I'm definitely slow-minded, so... you see where it says it in the book for people who are going to be interested in playing the game to find that rule? Uh... Technically, if I have a stadium that has only two seats, I've sold out. <laughs> if you find it, just post it, please. But I believe you. I believe you. Just if you find it, just post it. Okay, so... Alright. So we've changed that. We did that. we got to pay operation costs. So we need to pay 2, 4, 5. So 4 plus 1 going down to 5 money. I think it's explained in one of the objective cards.
Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Um, everything goes down, but I've run out of everything. Uh, this comes off to refresh. That was game day. We're back to Monday. Okay. So first production. Uh, we get four. That goes up to nine. I'll just put four there because my brain doesn't feel like dealing with the math. We get three fans, four of that, and three of that. So we're going to have to rectify that so all players can play. Okay. All right. New... We've got two games left. <laughs> we have to win at least one game. All right, so. I think we need a sponsor. <laughs> I think we definitely need a sponsor. Flip up the three jersey markers to their other side. Hmm. Build a stand for free, then place... Uh, place a fan from the supply on, on it. Production will go down, which I'm not interested in right now. Adjust all of your stats up to at least three. Ooh. That would be nice. Budget Shrinks might be our sponsor. Adjust all your stats up to at least three. Um, I gotta do this, and I gotta buy her. That's just that's just how this has got to play out, because as an action, no, I can't do both. I don't have enough. Dad, gum it! I don't have enough. There's nobody to train. I can hire a newbie. I can hire a newbie. And then train them. Injure them, heal them. Well, that's all I can really do. Page 20, item 6. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, page 20, item 6. Um, if you assign four or more fans, you play with a sold-out stadium. Some card effects uh, depend on the numbers assigned. Why is this four? What is wrong with my brain? Did I not? How do I look at this? I keep counting four. <laughs> All right, so this one will increase increase my operations by one, putting it at five. Gain any two resource markers. This will resolve a bonus from any sponsor card in, in the transfer area. Ooh. I can get that card as a sponsor and then build a stand. Do that. So once again, I, I oh sorry, board meeting. Let's let's deal with let's deal with the board meeting first. New stadium name. One of our sponsors wants to rename the stadium after themselves. Should we do it? No, you shouldn't because that's stupid. But I am not on the board. A two. A two is a yellow, yellow, blue. Oh God. Yeah, let's change it. 
So, so uh, yeah, let's change it. Gain uh, two production, lose two fans, and lose one, and discard a sponsor card from the display. You stupid idiots. All right. So, Jesus. So gain two production, so we'll do one, two, and when we would do that, we would gain an extra one of those. We would get we would lose two production going down to one, and then we would lose one production of operations. Freaking morons! All right, so then we would get. Uh, we have to discard a sponsor because they were like, "This is gross." So we'll discard a uh, fair play toys. Ah, the board's full of idiots. Okay, so... We've got enough to make this work now. Or gain a new tactic card, actually. we got enough to gain a new tactic card. So I could, I could buy somebody, train somebody, heal somebody, get a tactics card, and then gain two fitness to be able to play whoever's going to be played. That is a production token, not resource. That's a res. All right. Because it doesn't have the stupid circle around it. But let's see. It could be been wrong. Let's take a look at the board. Whenever you must move a stat above 5, gain the indicated resource marker and don't move the stat marker. So what are you talking about? Third result, right there. So I gain the resource and don't move the stat marker. Whenever you must move it below, discard the resource. Look at the board meeting again. Board meeting. So production... So production, production, resource. Oh, this one. This one you're talking about. So this would be a 5, and then this goes back to a 4. So they nullified each other is what you're saying. They nullified each other. The operation cost. Yeah, the, the operation cost. Not the, When you said production, you threw me. The operation cost wouldn't go... The production wouldn't go down. The operation cost would go down here. But it would go up here, so it basically nullifies each other, is what you're saying. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I get you, man. I get you. All right. Um, so the operation production doesn't go down. The resource goes down one. But because we went up two here the resource goes up one, so it nullifies each other. I needed that five. I really needed that five. Because <laughs> with that five, eh, we can still make this work. It's around Tuesday. <laughs> We're on Tuesday, so we can hire a player So we can hire a player. I need a midfielder. I can hire a rookie, train him. I can hire a rookie for one. Train him. That will only give me two. That will take me down to two, so only four people can play this round. Right now I'm at five. Because of him. I could take him as an action to get, all, to get five people to play. I don't have no midfielders? Jeez.
The rookie that I see up there is a midfield defender, which I'm not thrilled about. I need a midfield attacker. Oh, I need a midfield defender that's a little bit stronger. All right, let's let's run this. Let, let's run this. Let's run this. Oh, shoot! Come on, think, 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 think. I'm only gonna be able to play four people. That's just how it shakes. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy a new a newbie for three, going from four to three to get this midfield defender. That will raise my players up to the red zone. My side action is going to be to spend one going down to two to train him. Gain an injury, but gain heat. Seeing as how we are not going to win this with league position points, you you had maybe think about expanding the stadium promo. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So that is her bonus action. Then the next one, I will spend one to heal this guy, and then. The, I can't do two. Can't do two. That's it. So I want to expand. So the stadium spending three to expand the stadium. I could get some stands production. I could do this one. Potentially for three. But that would raise up that by one to make it four. I know I have to do this for four players to play. I'm just trying to find out. I think that's all I can do. Action. Change this so this goes to four. And I think that's all I can do. Not the greatest, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, let me put my two fans in the stands. Taking this down to one. This was at two. Then um, <clears throat> I'm going to spend all four to put four players in the game. You have two yellow trainers, and there is a third in the transfer area. Talking about her? Oh, you're talking about for the objective... Eh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Good buyer. But I don't have the, the operation cost to really build it up. That's okay. If we lose, we lose. <sighs> uh, Greytown Bulls. The team usually balances between second and third division. They have two talented and competitive midfielders who, who intend to score. A 5-3-3. Three, three. So we've got a midfield defender that has to play as one. The goalie is two. My forward power. My forward guy. Three. <laughs> eh, if I get sacked, I get sacked. Then I get one more, which I'm going to get a... Um, Uh, 
trying to think who the four should be. Should it be a kicker? A midfielder who intend to score. I'm going to put you in there. So eight, seven has to be a defender. And then we've got 10. One, two, three, four. The team usually balances between second and third division. They have two talented and competitive midfielders who intend to score. Uh, that's true. That's true. And I of the same strength. All I got is him in the forward, and he's got four. I don't have anybody who has four. I know I'm looking for that, but I don't have this is three, three, four, two. So if oh, I see what he's saying. They have the same strength. So if it's a 1-1, one, one, you can make it work. So if I do a 4-3-3, three, three, there's potential. Because I've got, now I've got a 1, oh wait, 8 can't go up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant this here. So if I do a 4-3-3, three, three, yeah, two 1 strength through players count. So if I do a 4-3-3, three, three, I've got... Actually, long pass. Oh, long pass is a five four one. Oh, you have to be in the forward. He has to be in the forward. Uh, must be played in in the wing zone. So he has to be forward in the wing zone. I can't. Yeah, I can't I can't score with a 541. I could score with a 433. If either player 3 or 7 is a one strength put your score If either player 3 or one, three or seven. If either player three or seven is a one string player, you score a goal. This is a one strength person. Three is a one strength. Help me understand that one, Bob. I'm not I'm not following. If one of the assigned center defenders has the same power as one of the assigned center forwards score a goal. Like you've got these tactics down and I don't see it. On a 5-4-1, he, he must be played in a wing zone so I can't put him center. I don't follow that logic. I'm thinking of doing that. See what happens. If you put the wing numberless player in the central area, you score a goal. But I need to know number three has to be there. I do not follow you one bit.
If one of the assigned center defenders has the same uh, same strength as one of the assigned center forwards, not a center forward, he's a center midfielder. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If one of my assigned defenders in my defense zone with a shield has the same power as one of my forwards score a goal. I don't think you're seeing this as it's supposed to be played. Screw it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, we'll, we'll work it out in the end. Flip. Oh, I'm about to get slaughtered. But let's see what happens. Alright, so. Let's take left wing. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, four. Can't block it. Score. One. Block. Three. Can't block it. Score. Kick. Blocked by the goalie, the goalie's done. Over here. Kick. Blocked by the goalie, the goalie's done. One, two, three. <laughs> I scored three points. One, two, three. I scored three. Okay. You kick for one. Blocked. You kick for two. Number seven can block that. I kick for three. You can't block that. I score four. Because you have only a defense of two and I'm kicking for three. Then you're all defense, but I have nobody in the forward. I won! I won the game! Oh my god! I need to check. I need to check again. I need to check again. One, two, three. Okay, so four kicks. Can't block it. Nobody here to block, and the goalie can't block it, so that's a score. One kick, the goalie blocks it. Three kick, the goalie can't block it, so that's a score. So the goalie has one block left. We go over to the right wing. One kick, the goalie blocks it. One kick, uh, power one, the goalie blocks it. One kick... Uh, one kick, power one, the goalie can't block it, that's a goal. And then kick, power four, the goalie can't block it, that's a goal. That's two. Then we come over here. Uh, you, kick, you don't do anything, actually, so there's nothing to really deal with. But then we come over here, you kick for a two, I've got a three blocker. I've got a three blocker, so I block that. I kick for a three, you've got a two blocker, I score. Then we come up here, and nobody's there and no defense. Oh my god, we won a game! <laughs> we won a game! We won a game! Okay. <laughs> so we won. So we won. We won. We won. So we'll move up three. One, two, three. And the, the Greytown Bulls is not in our division, so they don't, so they would not move far. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> let's see where the rest of these fools are moving. Uh, so top red isn't moving. Green is moving one and blue is moving three. Okay, and then the other red is moving three. One, two, three. We're barely avoiding relegation. Okay, got it now. Think of your field as three vertical areas. Right wing, center, left wing. If you have a token on the defense side in the defend area, and a token on the attack side in the attack area. All right, so we won that game. I'm just happy for that, but we need to deal with our consequence for winning. So uh, let's roll that. A three would net us on a win. An X. 
Uh, let's see what the next does. Uh, temporary weakness. Place the indicated number of X on any player card that was assigned to this match. I could re-roll it, which I think I will. I'm going to spend the fan, a fan number, to re-roll that die from a three to a one, which is two injuries. So let's roll on a two injury. Resolve two separate injury effects. Cool. So we rolled the die. We rolled the d12 type twice. Two. Um, two did not play in this game, so two is not hurt. And nine. Nine did not play in this game, so nine's all good. And this temporary comes off. Everybody runs off the field because we won our first game, people. I'll, 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 I'll pull that one up one second. Let me just take care of this thing before I forget where I am because my memory, I am old and we're getting to the last game. Okay, so we won that game. Then we clear these. Yes. Move these down. Down. New person. Oh, yeah, it's a dog. New sponsor. Why is a dog our sponsor? I don't have a dog as a spot. Anyway. All right, so we clear those. We do that. We pay operation costs. So it's uh, the fans, sorry. We get the fans first. Gain two going up to... So we're at ten. Then we have to pay three... Four, five, six, from ten just takes us down to four. And we're at the end. We got one more game. If we win this last game, I think we beat the scenario. So let's see what Bob's saying. All right, so let's see. Okay, Bob says, okay, I, I've got it now. Think of the field as three vertical areas, right wing, center, left wing. If you have a token on the defense side in the defend area and a token on the attack side in the attack area, and they are the same power, you score a goal with long pass tactic. Sorry, sorry. Afraid that's happiness and it needs to be celebrated through football, man. Let's go. Goal! All right, so you are basically passing the ball from the defend area straight to the attack area to score the goal. So, in a 5-4-1 with long pass, the one attacker you have in the forward area must be equal in power to the one... In yes! Yeah, I figured... Yeah, yep, yep, you're correct. You're correct. All right. So, we take these off. <laughs> We're on our last day! The last day! Our last match. If we could win this match... We will, we will beat the scenario. That's all. The scenario results if we don't get relegated. All right, so here we go. Um, production. I've got five. So like I said, I'm not going to do any. It's nine. I've got two fans. I've got four plus one, five operations. And I've got three fitness. Board meeting. How's the board going to screw me over? Uh, new staff. Our staff thinks they can perform better when they have more colleagues to discuss things with. Should we hire extra staff? You're not, because you're selfish, and you suck. Two. Two is yellow. Yellow. No. Told you. By the way, do they really earn that much? <laughs> selfish bastards. Plus one to... <laughs> Um, plus one, exhaust two of your staff cards that have actions. <sighs> Damn board members. All right, so plus one, which would give us plus one of this, taking us to six. And exhaust two with actions. I need you. I can exhaust you for sure. So let's put a thing. So this is one, because I'm not going to be training anybody this round. 
and nobody's hurt, so you're gonna get done. There you go. So now we, those are the two that are exhausted, and the board members suck. Uh, I need gesture. What's going on? What you got? Uh, good stuff, Kanji. Looks like fun. Are you using any expansions? Just wondering. Nope. Nope. This is base game. Uh, I want people to see what the game looks like base, and then if y'all are interested in seeing more, I will shuffle in the, uh, each expansion into into them to play them to see if that's what y'all if that's what y'all want to see. It's been a rocky start, but Bob has been incredible in helping me out, so I appreciate it. Okay. <sighs> Tuesday. Damn bored. Um, <laughs> Tuesday. All right, Bob was saying that we need to we need to power up the stadium, sell out some stands, get some fans, do some stuff. Um. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this action to gain two power and then spend two, three total from six going down to three to gain a new tactic card. I'll run through all, I did gesture, I'll run through all that at the end. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about it all at the end so you'll see exactly what comes with it. Um, but I'll talk about all that at the end. And I gained a new tactic card. So our new tactics are uh, pressing a uh, 343. If you have two or more assigned defender forwards, they each gain two, uh, two short term power. Okay. So I got a 343, which is. I actually prefer a 343. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um. This goalie sucks. <laughs> Sorry, he does. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So that was the first. That was Tuesday. Wednesday. Did we pick a sponsor? <laughs> he is better than no goalie. I agree. Can I... Uh... So question, because the, the terminology between resource and, and stats, stats is production, right? I wish they would just say production and resource. I'm assuming a stat is production. Because if a stat is production, it says adjust all your stats up to at least three. Which means I can gain the six that I need if I need to do that. So I don't know if stats is resource or production. Because resource are named resource, so I'm assuming stats is production? Yeah, gain resources according to positions of your stat markers. They're stat markers, so they're production. Cool. We got ourselves a, uh, a corporate sponsor. So we're going to be getting a sponsor. This is our sponsor. Budget shrinks. <laughs> So our sponsor is, actually, no, I'm going to make him an ad. I'm going to make them an ad and take this one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make them a sponsor. I'm going to make them an ad. Uh, only because we would get both, but I only want this bottom one. The three plus, eh, I don't really need it. So I'm actually going to make them a, I'm going to make them an ad board, not a sponsor. So just all your stats up to at least three. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It says up to at least three. Oh, nope, I don't want them. I don't want them. Because the only thing that's down from that is fans. Nope, nope, nope. Forget you, guy. Forget you. I don't want you. Um, this last week, everything counts. So I'm trying to see... I just need one more, I need one more, uh, fitness. 
Yeah, I should have. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Jersey markers. Flip up the three jersey markers. Oh, that's these. So that they, I could turn them into defenders if I want. I could buy a player, the Luca, which will give me another tactic card. And then I have to discard a tactic card. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I can't train anybody. My trainer's exhausted. Oh, wait, I forgot the... I forgot the after, effect, uh, the after Effect one of my players. I did forget that, which was number seven. Before the match, spend one production, but I was out, so that wouldn't matter. The problem, though, is his before... So Braga has a before match spend one uh, operations to gain one fitness and immediately place it on any player card. That fitness could bring one up to four. It could bring him up to four, but he's a midfield defender. And this just... and, and If one of the center defenders... Boom! Got it! I got my goal. I got my goal. I got my goal. There's a spawn... Is there any spots? No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Check this out. Braga has a before match ability. If I spend one operation to gain one fitness, <clears throat> one fitness and immediately place it on any player card, that fitness should be enough because he's a defender. If I put it on him, he'll be four, and that's an instant goal. Uh, da -da 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 looking up rules, looking up rules. Choose a player card you want to use for the match and assign fitness on each player card you wish to use. You can assign players with... Uh, you cannot use it. Some player cards have additional effects that you may use before, during, and after the match. To activate a player's card effect, you must assign additional resources, not counting uh, the fitness already assigned to the card, and then spend them. So does fitness count as power... Or is that just letting them play? I think that's just letting them play. Yeah, that's just letting them play. So I can assign it to that card and let them play. That's just letting a player and it doesn't get me my goal. And I think I can swing this this turn to get all of these players in or somebody new. I can gain DeLuca who would get me a new tactic card. And then we'll see what happens? Yeah, fitness is not strength or power. It's just being allowed to play. Yeah, I figured that. I figured that. Or, or... No, I won't have enough to use uh, Ek Ekenfell's stuff. I could do go to Luca and to gain a tactics card. The thing is, is I hate all the sponsors. I don't care about them. I probably might turn you into one. Why the hell not? Resolve a bonus from any sponsor card in the transfer area.
Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Portal Cookies as our sponsor. So we're gonna do this one. So let's get a tea. Let's get a sponsor. A sponsor jersey. We're going with Portal Cookies, which um, we get both. We get to increase our production by one, which I really like, and we get to resolve a bonus from any sponsor card in the transfer area. Flip flip. So that's our new sponsor. So you put our sponsor in the sponsor area, and we get both effects. So this would move up one, which will increase this to four, like it matters right now. And then we get to uh, resolve a bonus from a sponsor card in this area. Well, let's see what our new one is, and let's see what we can do. Reveal the top card from the board uh, meeting deck, then either discard it or place it back on top of the board meeting deck to resolve next Monday. This is the last Monday. For every two stadium infrastructures gained, victory don't care. Flip up the three jersey markers to their other side. Uh, build a stand for free, then place on it one fan from the supply, or adjust your stats by three. The best one we got is to get another stand for free. And then we place a fan from the supply on it. Um, not sponsor staff. My person, uh, the, this, one, this is the one you're talking about. It's not sponsors, it's staff. Uh, discard all staff cards from the transfer area and draw five new. If it was sponsors, I would so do it. I would have been done that. But no, it's just staff. So I do, I, I may, I got a sponsor. We're on Thursday. I'm thinking to get DeLuca. I'm really thinking I'm going to pick up DeLuca. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend, um, one. Going down to eight. To purchase DeLuca. And DeLuca's bonus, it, it'll push this up to one, and DeLuca's bonus is to get a tactic. So our new tactic, right here, uh, flip any jersey marker that does not have a corresponding player card. And this is a 5-4-1. So we got, some, we got some nice tactics now for the finale. We're coming up with some good stuff. Okay. Um, this down, and we're out of cards, which we would reshuffle these. I said there's not much for this division. Um, there. Okay. I think that's our game day. Okay, so let's spend the two we got. Put fans in the stands. And we've got... We're going to spend, before the, uh, Braga's coming in, but before the match, Braga is a midfielder, but before the match, uh, spend one operations, going down to three, to gain one fit, to gain one fitness token to put it on somebody. So we're going to put it on somebody. So basically, we're at five. Just say we're at five. Because with him, it would have went to four, but he added one, so now it's a five. So we're going to put our goalie in, taking us to four. We're going to put our strongest kicker in for sure, which will take us to three. Um, we're going to put number eight in, which will take us to two. Let's look at the report. And then we'll see what's the last two we're going to pick. They're an average team... Will probably avoid relegation and won't get promoted. They focus on pressing and counterattacks, but their forwards rarely start individual actions. So that means their forwards, which would which would be this is their forwards, and there's a there are three five two, so their center field is a five. So I think I might have to go a four five one, or maybe a five four one. I think I might do a five four one if they're a. Two forwards, five midfielders, and three back and three um defenders. I might do a five four one. Um, but we could get a goal with with the Luca if we put the Luca in, and the Luca scores, we get a goal. And their 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 uh their their uh, defenders are three. So we're going to put the Luka in with one power. So then we got one left. And we're going to put in you for the six. So according to Bob, 
We're gonna go. We're gonna go long. Uh, I can't long pass with a five four one. I can't put the Luke in. I gotta do a different tactic. The long pass isn't gonna work. I can do a three four three, or a five four one, or a four three three. They focus on pressing and counterattacks, which means they've got a lot of defense. Their forwards don't do much. <laughs> Board Game Channel talking about fitness. <laughs> this is tough. This is tough for this final one uh, because if they're focusing on pressing, if I, do, if I try to do the long pass, I can't play my sure shot, but I get a goal. But if I do a 3-4-3, three, three, if you have two or more defender forwards, they each gain, and I don't have any defending forwards. So pressing's out. Unless I choose to do the 3-4-3 three, three anyway. Um, I could just do a basic formation of a 4-3-3. Three, three. But they are they are a two five three or a three five two, which is um uh two five three. So they have five midfielders. So my midfielders, the best I got is that four five one. I think that's the best I got is that four five one, because I gotta counter what they've got. Which means DeLuca can't be in. So let's go ahead and put you back in. If we're going to go for a 5-4-1. It might mean the uh, pressing happens from the center midfield, so you need to defend that. That's what I'm thinking, too. And so it might mean the wings are less defended. Well, we know number 10 is on the wing. Number 7 is a defender. Number eight is a striker. I put him over there. Number two is a defender. And number five is a defender. So that's what we're working with. And if I do five, counterattack worries me. Yeah, pressing pressing means that I just need to defend the center. That's that's all that tells me. I'm thinking potentially that maybe potentially I've got a strong defender that will block a power hit then I have another defender the wings might be light so I could put you center Do a five four one. I could do that. So I've got. Ah, oh, I think I think this is this is this might be that. As if they're the counterattacks is what concerns me. My goalie sucks. Um Okay. We're gonna try this formation one more time on a 5-4-1. Ah. 
Or maybe I should do a 4-5-1. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to do a 4-5-1. I'm going to do the uh, Libero. So 4-5-1. Which means 1-4-5-mid, one, one 4 five mid, four back. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Final game. This is what I'm going with. This is what I'm going with. Win, lose, or draw, man. Win, lose, or draw. I'm doing, I'm doing this one. Then it says I can flip any jersey marker that does not have a corresponding player card. <sighs> this is a lot of... This is... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Screw it. Screw it. There is no tomorrow. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we need him to beat him up. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with. Why is that gold? I don't know why that's gold. That's new to me. Why is that gold? I've never pulled a gold one. Oh, I think it's just a team color. Okay, that's just a goalie shirt. Okay, so. All right, here we go. Power kick. So left wing, block, block. Okay, no, no attacks. Right wing, block. Uh, so this is a, so here we go. So we go, um, you're kicking for one, you block that. You're kicking for a three. Goal can't block it. Goal. You're kicking for a three for a four. Goal can't block it. Goal. I scored two points off the wing. I scored two points off the wing. Okay, so then you're blocking. I'm not doing anything. Here comes the midfield. You kick for one. I block. You kick for two. I block with my two, with my three, and then you kick for two. My goalie sucks, so you score a point. Mother of God. Okay. Backfield. <laughs> oh my God. So I got I got two defenders. One of them is a three, and one of them both of them are sorry. Both of them are, are twos. Both of them are twos, and they're pure defense. So you kick for a three. I can't block it. Damn it! So you score, and my goalie can't block it. And that's game we tied. And that's game we tied. Oh my gosh! Okay, so let's see what happens. So I gotta redo this in my head. So there's a double block, so they block me here. I should have stacked you over here. So there's a double block. So there's a block of one. And then this is not a kicker. So this is another one. So you block. That's done. Over here, I kick here for a one. You block it with a three. I, I kick here for a two. Three, because he has a star on him. A three. Goalie can't block it. It goes through. I kick for a three. For a four, it goes through. No, no, your central defenders had nothing to block. My central defenders had nothing to block. My central defenders had nothing to block. A two. I have a three here. So I block one. With number seven. Number one, I block. And number two gets through. So what are you talking about? What do you mean I have nothing to block? These have nothing to block. Oh, because of this card, because of that card. And there's nobody there, so they would score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player two and five have nothing to block because it was a... Uh, this would be here. They have nothing to block, so they don't block anything. Then we go to the midfield. So let's let's kick it back. Let's kick it back. So midfield, so we've already determined that I scored two. Midfield, so this one versus this one. Nothing to block, it's it's nullified. Then we come up here. Two to a three block. One to a one block, one score. 
Then forward, I have nothing going in forward, so it's just them. So they have nothing to block, but they're going to kick a three, and my goalie can't block a three, so they score, and the game is tied. So the game ends in a draw. So I move up to six. That team, the Steel Chasers, would shift. So now let's see if I am relegated. So this is front red, which is the uh, Blackstone Kings, the blue and the green. So front red isn't moving. The blue moves up one. And the green moves up one. I beat the scenario. Woohoo! <laughs> and then the other red doesn't move at all. I beat the scenario. So let's finish out. Let's finish out the let's finish out the season, see what happens. So my god, I won by one stinking point. Okay, so <laughs> then uh this is done. We reset, we uh, clear, shift, shift, shift. So let's, we gotta finish out, we gotta finish it out, but I think, yeah, I think we're good. I think we beat the scenario. So then we got to pay operation costs, which would be three, four, five, six out of eight, leaving two. We get fan money, which is three going up to five. And then this busts down to one. And then we got to roll for our consequence. A two, which is two injuries. Number 11, I don't have a number 11. And number seven, I do have a number seven who gets injured. And we won! <laughs> we won the event! We are not relegated. Oh my gosh! <laughs> So our, our, our season goals is to tra train three youngsters, which we did. We did train three, and build up your staff. Have staff cards from at least four different sets. I've got one, two. I just got two. So I got four victory points for training three youngsters. And uh, cool. So, we, so we, we got one of our season goals, but we, got the, but we beat the scenario. We were not relegated. The bottom two teams are relegated. So, uh... uh Middleham and BFC are out of the division. <laughs> oh my gosh. At the end of the season, if you're at the bottom of the league table or second to last, you are relegated. I was not. I am not relegated. We won. We won. Bob, thank you so much for helping with that. So we go on to scenario two, which is rivalry, which we'll play through that. However, I wanted y'all to see this to see if it's something that, that it would go through. Okay, so let's talk about my thoughts on the game, and then we'll bring out all the expansions so you can see what's on there to see if it was. <laughs> you might get asked. <laughs> so here we go. This game is fun to me. I, I love it. Bob, thank you so much, because he cleared up a lot of stuff that I was struggling with, um, even when I played... I played this game multiple times. This was not my first time playing it, and as you can see, I was still screwing up. So, to me, that was super helpful to be able to move forward with a lot of that stuff. Um, I hate the, uh, the stat versus resource thing. I hate that. because I, I only hate it because... I think it could have been done a different way to make it a little bit more helpful to people who get really confused by that stuff. Like, for instance, when when Bob was saying, hey, these are production things, it was I, I struggled with it because in some symbols, like here, the symbol's dark. So I was like, okay, so if it's a dark symbol, it's using this thing or using that symbol to tell me this is what you need to do. However, not all of them are dark symbols, right? This is where... 
my brain just got jumbled. This one, this one doesn't have a dark symbol, but it has a dark symbol here. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, this is production. So keeping the thought of, even with keeping the thought of, okay, well, anything that's encircled is production, which is what they should call it, and anything that is not circled is a resource, that helps. However, when we got to this card, this is the reason why I'm saying, like, Maybe I I'm just dumb. Maybe I am just dumb. But when I got to this card and um, and Bob was like, hey, that last one you did wasn't production. It was resource. It, I just think this could have been done differently. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think, like, that that potential, that was that was a, a, a difficult potential for that to happen. I like, there's another way that that could have happened that would have been helpful. I got war game vibes from this game. Could it be rethemed to a war game with emphasis on supply and resource reinforcement? It could be, probably. Um, the other, my biggest gripe is the combat in this rule book. It it like it doesn't tell you you have to just into it <laughs> that but because the example it gives you of match days between two cards, not player boards. You are not playing with two cards. You are never doing this. Why is this an example? Because the card says, hey, look, if you're operating on this side, you go to this side. If you're operating on this side, you go to this side. Of two cards, not a player board versus card game. This confused the life out of me for a long time until Slicker Drips was like, no, you, they, you don't play with two cards. This is dumb. They should have never done this. It should have because it's just play the card as it is and you'll be fine because it's a card versus board and the board is flipped anyway. This was completely unnecessary to the entire rule book, and it confused stuff. Major annoyance. Likes. Love the player variation. Love the weekly run through where you have a, where you have a week to do certain things. I don't think, honestly, I don't think that there is a, oh, if I do this, I will always win scenario. Uh, because as you move up the visions, things shift. Now you could re-see cards. So if you saw them, you probably will be able to commit to memory. I think if football, soccer is not your sport of choice, you might struggle. I think they assume a certain amount of familiarity with the real game. And I have, I have familiarity. The problem is, though, is that this is the reason why I was understanding the formations. But the stack of the formations kind of threw me a little. Um, you once There is, in terms of replayability for the divisions, there's these cards still here. This is Division 3. So I've got some of I I do have some potential to not run into the same card again, but once you play it out off after a while, you probably might recognize certain cards maybe. And this is the same one for Division Three Two, where um where you can basically see on here that there's, you know, you're not going to get the same card all the time, but there's potential to run into. The directors themselves, there's a nice group of them that are in here, so your directors will vary. And there is a thick old stack. I mean, let me pull this stack off of here so you can see. These are all the stack of the board member meetings. So there is another set that's there. A lot of people will complain about kind of the board member screwing up your world stuff. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people will, I guarantee anybody who reviews this game, I have this feeling that they'll be like, it doesn't matter what you do because your board members are going to screw up your world. Hey, guess what? That's real life. In, in, uh, in football clubs, board members make great decisions. Board members make crap decisions. You are just reacting to it. So if you're pissed because your board members did something that screw up your uh, operations, guess what? That happens in real life. So stop crying because I think that these are played very well for people who are like, well, it's just pure luck factor on a die roll. That's how it works. So that gets me. I have no problem with the board member selection as well as how they screw up your world or help your world based on their board member meetings that you as a coach are not invited to. Um, the cost of being able to, to, to maintain a stadium Players and staff, I think, are well done. Um, I don't mind this board at all, this, this resource board. I don't mind it. 
And I think Bob said that's the reason why he does um, use the tokens instead of dice. But the tokens became too cumbersome for me. So as long as I could keep, as, as long as I, I was able to keep the dice straight. So it goes, if you speak to any football manager, they will tell you that the board member decisions screw up their, exactly, exactly. And that's part of, and, and that's part of knowing the game. That's a real thing. Um, the game board itself, the meat and potatoes of this game, where you have to go against the division, I think it's fun because you saw me sitting here trying to be like, all right, well, if I do a 4-5-1 or if I do a 3-4-3, three, three, how is that going to break down? And that's just formation, right? 3-4, four, it's four midfielders, three defenders. That's a 3-4-3. Three, three. So, or a 5-4-1 is one forward, four midfielders, five defenders. So it kind of reads itself backwards from top to bottom or from bottom to top, however you want to look at it. So getting those things, like figuring out where to position this player, I think this is a great strategy mechanic. I think this is fun. Um, getting players on board. Now, for the first scenario, you get, you're, you're, a, you're a nobody newbie football club. So you're going to get scrub players. You just got to turn, you got to turn coal into diamond, man. That's, that's the whole purpose of this scenario, to see if you can do that. If you're able to do that and, and not be relegated, which I, I won the scenario, it's fine. So this, this entire board, I like. I like all of this. I like figuring this stuff out. It is a puzzle to solve. Um, it is a really, really great puzzle to solve. The, that tactic you had that allowed you to flip a jersey can be quite strong. Yeah, it really can, because you could turn. Remember, you need, you need five attackers, five defenders. And if I flip that, that means I can flip any jersey to attackers. I could have had a team of attackers and flooded them and scored like crazy, but I didn't choose to do that. I wanted to defend some. So, which I probably should have done. <laughs> I probably should have done that on the 5-4-1. A anyway, uh, or, sorry, the 4-5-1. The stadium board, I didn't do much of it, but the stadium board actually has, um, actually has you do, uh, do some bonuses. For instance, I can add another ad board. I can get that added to turn that on so I can get more ads on my board. I can increase production of fans. I can increase production of operations. I can increase production of uh, cash. I can add another stand, and I can increase production of, um, of fitness. So I had some, I, I have potential with this board. I can even build offices on the board to score more higher points. But for me, this scenario, I, I am never on the point race. I'm on the scenario win effect. So to me, I could have done that and then scored up a bunch of points and then look for Euros. It's always a score chase, right? So at the end of the game, I scored up all my points and then determined what type of manager I am on this chart. I don't care about that. <laughs> Until the scenario tells me I need to care about that, I don't care about it. I care about the scenario goals and winning the scenario. So that's where I am. But if you're a score chaser... There's your option in there of trying to chase your score on, on how these things shape up. Um, where was I? Where was I? So that was... It's really for the multiplayer game. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Bob. The, so the stadium board, I don't mind it. It's a, it's a nice little addition to make sure that it, um, it kind of lays out. And each team that you pick right now, I went with... with I call these the Kanji, Kanji, uh, Kanji Pheasants. <laughs> Uh, they they basically have their own stadium with their symbol on it, and then you can build those things up. You can build offices that give you victory points, and you can choose when you want your sponsor. Sometimes you go early, sometimes you don't. It's up to you. You don't care. But there is a lot of choices in this board. There's a lot of choices in the sponsors. Uh, the staff is pretty limited only because you have to take out the cards, but when you add more expansions, it comes in. And then I'm assuming I'll get more players so you can see all the players that I had to remove. But the newbies list, also, newbies. Tons of newbies with varying features that are on them for you to select and discover on the different type of abilities that they have. So newbies are good. All right. We have objective cards that helps you score points if you want to do the point salad thing. But I just, I have to draw one. It is what it is. Tactics I like because they vary. You just have to find a way to be able to get more tactics into the game uh, to build that out. So that doesn't bother me. Phoenix sounds more fearsome than Pheasant. <laughs> so let's talk about the expansions. This expansion called Stadium. 
This expansion gives you, so the stadium expansion gives you new staff, new infrastructures to put on your stadium, more board meetings. That's what this builds out. So this gives you more options with your stadiums. This gives you more options with, um, with new staff members and more board member meetings to deal with. That's what this thing gives you, okay? So if you buy that expansion, it can mix into any game. It's fine. Unexpected events. The unexpected events expansion actually gives you a way for your team. Remember before it was like, okay, well, your team is suspended, your, your player suspended. This throws in the lovely thing of unexpected events that cause your player to get a yellow card or a red card. That's what's in here. It also adds a reputation board and tokens for you to add stuff onto. More board meetings, and it's compatible with all the games. But this is... This is the unexpected events one. So now it gets even deeper into this location where somebody's like, well, your player gets suspended, but do they ever get yellow carded or red carded? So yes, in that expansion, it adds the yellow card, red card mechanic in there. This expansion, the International Cup, this expansion makes you, lets you add more teams. So more teams are added. You'll be playing a bracket this time. So you're doing kind of like an international cup, right? So for your international cup, you'll be playing brackets against all the different teams trying to get to the best, which I think is a really cool addition, and it has more board member meetings in it. But that you have like this bracket board, instead of using this scoreboard here, you're on the brackets. If you win, you shift, you know, based on scoring, you shift down, and you move through until you get to the international cup to win the cup. International players! So this expansion adds, guess what? International players. <laughs> so right now the players seem very stat, uh, they they're very diverse in their names and their their look and everything because we've got you know you've got re you've got definitely representation in this. But this adds more international players, flight tokens just in case they need to they have to travel, right? Uh, new tactics cards get added in because you'll be taking on the tactics of other countries. So like there's the, there's, there's the Spanish tactic or there's the Swedish tactic. So there's different types of ones that are in there for you to get. But this adds this in here. And then finally, there is the solo campaign. So if, you're, if you've played through all that other stuff and you're like, okay, I'm ready to go through a full campaign for an entire season to go through this, that's what this adds. So you get purely solo-based scenarios that are built into this, new directors that go along with it, and this is compatible with other stuff. So basically, this is an entire series of scenarios that you play through as a solo campaign. So right now, I'm playing just through these, these one-shot scenarios. So right now, I beat Surviving the Third Division. I would clear the deck, redo everything, and then play Scenario 2. That's the scenarios. With the campaign, however you progress is who you keep. And you keep taking them through all the way through the season. So that's what the solo campaign is. And then there is some, uh, there's just some additions. So this, like, they give you an addition for the, for the board. So this is the board. They give you just some nice little stuff. You get some removable stickers if you want to use the stickers on there. Some extra tokens, some extra planes if you need them, all that other stuff that comes. Those were the Kickstarter exclusives that uh, you got. You don't need them. You, don't, you honestly don't need them. You're fine. But these are all the expansions that come with it. Might be a buy for me if the campaign is good. I haven't, I, I, I haven't played the campaign yet, so I don't know. This is why it's still closed up. I just played the base game so I can understand how it plays. I like it. I like this game a lot. I think this game would be... I think this game is fun, but I think there is no uh, way... Of, I think there's no gray area with this game. Either you're going to like this game or you're going to hate it. You're going to think that it's too... You're going to say this game is fun. It's a good challenge. To me, it's very thematic. Uh, it is a very thematic game because everything, everything on here from board meetings all the way to, to strategy is very deliberate and very well done. But you're going to have people who say they hate it. They're going to say, nothing matters because if you roll a die when you win, you can hurt somebody. That happens. 
Uh, nothing matters because when you roll a die, your board screws up your whole plans. That happens. Nothing matters because when I, because everything is a crapshoot on these cards because these cards that are here, specific ones that give scout reports, don't really tell you a lot. That will come from people who don't know soccer. <laughs> okay? That will come from people who don't know that. For instance, think about this. They focus on pressing and counterattacks. Immediately, Bob was like, pressing means coming into the center midfield. That's what pressing means. So if you have no idea what any of this sounds like or what any of these things mean and you have no idea, you're gonna, you're, you might fuss about that because you're like, that scout report doesn't help me. It actually provides a lot more information than, you're thinking, than, than you think. And you need to just kind of lean into that and say, I know what I don't know, and therefore let me play the game and learn. So I'm not, I, I, I'm not listening to anybody who complains about the scout report if they don't understand football. Um, but rolling the dice on the consequences for the match, I think that's very, I, I think that's fine. It could go either way. Um, you have ways to mitigate it based on actions from, from your staff. Um, there are abilities that comes on your directors that can help you in the long game. Uh, ad boards help you with money if you're ever struggling or abilities that you have. I, I'm, I'm not, my biggest negative to me is this. I wish this would have been done a little bit differently and the rule book's explanation of how to play. But everything else is pretty solid. Um, if it is like a board game version of Football Manager PC game. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it I think it matches very well. Like I said, if you don't like it, if you don't like soccer, US soccer, world football, if you don't like it, you're going to find 10 billion things wrong with it that you're going to fuss about. But if you like it, you're going to see, oh, man, yeah, yeah, this, this really is thematic, and you'll enjoy it. Anyway, my rating of this is I think it's fun. Um, I would like to know from you all, put it based on likes, based on views, based on, on uh, discussions in the, um, in the comments below. Do you want to see me play more of this? Because I can shuffle in an expansion, and we can, and we can do scenario two. And see how that works up. If you want to see more on the channel, let me know. I thought that after match consequences roll was a bit rough until I realized injury rolls only apply to players that actually played. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you pointed that out, which helped me out too, because I was doing that too. I was saying, I was also saying, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Play more, yes, yes. So, but, you know, let me know. if Give me the thumbs up. Well, I, I, it's all based on kind of your feedback. I like this game, and I'll continue to play it, but if y'all want to play it, if we want to play it together, let me know, and I will I will be more than happy to, to schedule another one, shuffle in an expansion, and and we play, we play with another expansion. We go to Scenario 2 and see how that goes, see how rivalry goes, and see how we do. But we beat Scenario 1 by hair, by hair. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Oh, boy. All right. So, yep, that is, that is, that is. Do play more. Uh, a second playthrough will give you a chance to do better. Yeah, I agree. I learned a lot from this one. Like I said, I played, I, this isn't my first time playing. I played it before, but still those mistakes existed, and they will. I think that anybody who watches this video, if you're looking, I, I, I've said this 10 billion times, and I'll say it again. If you are looking for perfection, I'm not your guy. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm human. I will get better, and I will get to perfection. I'll get there. But if it's my first playthrough, I've played the game a couple times. I struggle with rule books. I don't learn that way. Um, but I read this rule book multiple times. I even called people who, I even Discord messaged people who love rule books and said, can you read this? Does this make sense? And even then, I still got some stuff wrong, and that's okay. <laughs> And that's okay. Um, if you play the game incorrectly, that's okay. We live, we learn. <laughs> if uh, we live and we learn, and as I learn this game, I will get, I will get, and you will see perfection happen. But first episode, probably not. Probably not. But we got chat here. We've got comment section. People will tell me what I missed, what I could have done instead, how how to do it in a constructive manner. And then I respond, thanks for the feedback. I will apply it. 
oh yeah, this, or if I see it, I'm like, no, that's not what really happens, this is what happens, and we get better over time. Um, hopefully, I, I think by and large, I played this game pretty, pretty well, so, and I still enjoyed it. <laughs> I will not dignify that, Bob, with an answer. I will not dignify that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the man knows how to twist the knife. He knows how to twist the knife. All right. So um, that's all we got for eleven. If y'all like it, let me know. Put it in the comments or or give thumbs up, and I will I will definitely bring this back to the channel, shuffle in an expansion, and we'll go at it. <laughs> so uh, thanks so much, everybody, for joining. And Bob. <laughs> now, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, my patrons, YouTube subscribers. And if you're neither just coming in the Hangout, thank you as well. Oh, and welcome as well. What's coming up next um, is going to be um, Tuesday, where it's Marvel United. And then we'll be playing, I think it's Frostpunk? <laughs> it's on the channel. I've already scheduled it. So whatever's up there is what I'm playing. And then we'll uh, get back into it. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this game or you found that it was something that you really like and, and enjoy uh, or, or that you like and that you would like to get to the table. It is a fun game. It's got its quirks, but at the heart of it, I think it's pretty thematic. Um, and that's what we got. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will see you all later. And remember, I love y'all and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Happy Sunday. Bye-bye.